Guys, I, I, I tried, I tried trimming my beard on my trip and I, the guard fucked up and I had to go clean shaven. So for this stream, I, I, I think we're going to do no cam. I think for the whole stream, cause I'm, I'm, I got, I, it wasn't, I just went, the guard slipped and then it went really low. And I was like, well, guess we're, uh, we're trimming all the way down. So. Nah, nah, nah. I, I look like a, uh, I look like a, uh, a lesbian, like a fat, like a, like, you know, like there's porn lesbians and then there's a reality lesbian, like the cup, like you'll see them at Costco. You know what I mean? And you're like, yeah, this isn't life isn't porn. That's what I look like right now. I look like a reality lesbian. <clears throat> Any reality lesbians in chat? Why are people saying, so you look the same. Okay. You know, what's really mean. People are already sitting here going, oh, sniper, get down. Like I have acne. You can't even fucking see me, dude. I'm not even on the screen and you're, and I'm being called fat. Uh, you know what? We'll think about it. You guys are saying lesbian reveal? Like, you think that's gonna encourage me? Bro, if you could see my fingers right now, I'm showing you what encourages me. I'm doing the money symbol. Okay? Thank you for the raid, uh, uh, Papa Daily with the party of two. Holy shit, baby! The career is taking off! Bro, it's been too long since I got to scream into a mic. Too bad I'm fat. Kyle's balls suck you, boss! Let's go! You know what? Hold on. I just have to say, anyone who just tuned in for the first time, never see this guy right here. First time chatter just said, hi, Wubby. Bathroom jewel pod. If this is your first time watching stream, you are sitting here looking at a... It's a, a JPEG of Jesus Christ as, I, as some... You don't know who. Someone is screaming thank you for subs as subs are pouring in. Thank you, Maxwell, for the five. Thank you, uh, Petricor, for the five. The Hubby Bobby, welcome, new chatter. Nah, nah, nah. Listen, the beard got fucked up. I'm now clean shaven and I'm ugly. But we'll be back. Mr. Mustache! Holy shit, the subs are a coming in! What up? I got a big PD. Thank you for the five. Sarah Doogie. Sarah Doogie, I want you to know that you sound like the kind of woman who has a birthmark on her face that looks like poo poo. Chelsea with a 20! Oh, 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 oh,
Ooh, ah, ooh. Ooh, ah. <laughs> What's happening? No, for real though, I'm not, I'm not going to turn on my cam. I, 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 I shaved down to the skin uh, on accident. Didn't mean to. While on a trip to Denver. Uh, and uh, I, I look like shit now. I have no beard. I'm as clean as a, as a baby's bottom, which I'm very intimately you suck. familiar with. Thank you, Dr. Goons, for the five subs. Uh, appreciate you. I took a... I had diarrhea in an airport today uh, with a glove on. So how did Wubby get there? Well, you're going to have to keep watching. Tune in tonight on Wednesday to see how we got there. All right. Thank you, Minot Gate! Thank you, brother! I'll be right back. Has anyone been able to decipher the title yet? Does it make any sense? It's so, it's so, I love Jayasaurus Rex! I love the titles make no sense. Oh, I gotta turn on my AC, I'll be right back. Jono for the 20. I think it's fair. Really I think you guys have bought the right to see my face despite the fact that I am clean shaven and look like dog shit. You guys ready? Alright, let's give it, Can we get a countdown chat? From 100. From 200. 200. 199. 198. 197. 196. One, oh, I gotta find my inhaler. I'll be right back. 195. Don't stop counting. 194. Don't stop counting. What's the count at? I just got back. Uh, 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 uh. All right, I'll just reveal it. Uh, it's okay. We can we can skip to five. We can get we can skip to five. Okay, you ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? Five, four, three. Okay, we're all gonna be nice though, right? Two. Ooh, I like that. I like the bass. One. I lied. Welcome to stream, everybody! Streaming on a Wednesday! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, okay. You anyway, suck. yeah, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. On, someone just said, gonna kill myself. Bro, I think you're too invested. It was facial hair. It was facial hair. You suck. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> now you're just using this as a way to call me ugly. And Jalad on the ocean doing opium. I love the kitty tattoos. Okay, but can I, you know nice what? You suck. I, I thought, let me land. I thought of this huge ruse, okay? Because I trimmed down the beard to, to, you to leave a little bit more of a mustache because a lot of my friends are rocking mustaches right now. And I got, you look rose- Take off your cam. <sighs> you hey, suck. Thank you. Okay. Hey, man, I like it. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. I located the broccoli. Hey, good for you. I'm going to be uh, in uniform. You suck. I'm Shut up. I'm gonna be wearing my green screen suit here at the second part of stream. Thank you, Pancake Daiwa, for the 25. Did I say your name right? Bro, you think I would accidentally shave my beard down? Even if I took out like a chunk of it, I would still leave that. Ch I would leave the rest of my beard. I will look like a guy who has a fucked up beard rather than a lesbian. 
Uh, so yes, chat. Hello, welcome to stream. I've been gone for for uh, Christmas. Thank you for the twenty five again, bro. Hold on, someone else. I don't want to miss you. Uh, randomly named Y. Thank you for the ten subs. I appreciate you. Uh, white guys can't rock mustaches. If the beard gr goes, that's ten years. What? What do you mean? Do I look? Oh my god, I I kind of do look like a little pedophile. Show hands. <laughs> no, I don't want to show my hands. I will show my hands. So I went to Denver for the last few days and guys, I've never been to Colorado and I never have seen snow and I have news for all my, where are my Colorado boys in chat? Where are my Colorado na na natives in chat? Yo, 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 Colorado. No, no, no. I'll be more specific. Denver is a shithole. <laughs> I'm never going back. Denver suck. fucking sucks. <laughs> Yo, d I have so many things to say about Denver, and none of them are nice. None you of suck. them. Den I tell me I suck. That's fine. Your city welcomed me with a, a bend over and ass clapping, bro. Dad. It's first off, the my, my Uber driver was like, lucky you got here when you did. A few days ago, it was negative 20. And I'm like, what the fuck? They're like, yeah, all the planes were grounded. I had someone who was, who's been here for over a week. They've been stuck. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why did I come here? They have a nice airport. Wrong. The Denver airport was absolutely insane. Way too crowded. Way too big. It reminds me of like Orlando. Like these these like massive hub airports where it's like, I got to take a trolley. I, or I got to take a subway to get to my gate. Jesus Christ. It fucking sucks. Thank you. Jayasaurus Rex, thank you for the five. It sucks. I'm sorry. It sucks. Uh, okay. Okay. Traveling on Christmas. I did not travel on Christmas. I did not. I traveled the day after Christmas. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> but I have stories to tell and we have something to do tonight chat. So let me let me inform you tonight. We're going to be playing a game, not a video game chat. You are going to be competing against yourselves this evening in a very fun game. Booty. Uh, uh, I, I think he saw it on Doug Doug's channel and then he linked it to me. He's like, we should do this on stream. And I said, this would be great for when I get home on Wednesday. So we're going to be playing a game where chat, you have to, we're going to be doing a YouTube scavenger hunt sort of type beat. Uh, I will explain the rules later, but that's going to be coming later in stream. It's going to be done using click maps and other things. So there you go. That's happening today. But I have a lot to tell you guys. I have a lot of stories. I have stuff to talk to you guys about. I have some good ones. Wubby in the wild is 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 a fiend. And, and I feel like I attract retarded people. By the way, shouts out to Alex. She For Christmas, she got me chocolate and a sign that says, I'm not handicapped. I'm just retarded. And you hang it on your car. So that was cool, Alex. I got her flight cards so whatever you know what that Star. Really, it, that's fine it's cool how much did you pay alex it's fine <laughs> i'm not mad about it i'm actually not mad about it <clears throat> anyway so i went to i i flew to denver to get tattooed i flew uh to get tattooed by a guy named denzel who is a scary looking man, but very nice. What tribal tattoo did you get? I got tribe of, of Wubby. <clears throat> Denzel, not Washington, guys, not Washington. It was Denver. It was in Denver, not Washington. Come on, that's a good joke. He wasn't black either. Actually, he was, he wasn't white. Actually, I can't remember. <laughs> he came in with a, with a, with a crazy looking hat and some, and dominatrix boots. And I was very scared. But then he was very soft-spoken. Anyway, okay. Do your thing, 21. Um, old pussy hands. That's right. I got my lovely kitties tattooed on my hands because I've been wanting that for a very long time, actually. And uh, I've been trying to find the right artist. And uh, I found the right artist who I thought was in San Diego. Uh, and then I got really invested in this artist. And then I found out, no, he was just doing a guest spot in San Diego. And he lives in Denver. And I was like, well... Guess I'm going to Denver then. I'm in too deep. And the only reason I ended up ultimately going with him was because he was actually so nice in DMs. He was so kind. And uh, I went over there. No Costco hot dog tattoo. Bro, you think I got three hands? What, what do you want from me? Okay. Uh, what happens when you get more cats? You only got two. I don't want more cats. All right. On your foot. I don't want foot tattoos. That's kind of, I, I don't think, I'm sorry. 
any ladies or gentlemen who have foot tattoos, I hate foot tattoos. I don't think they look good. Also, hold on. This I, I here's what I will say. We're not gonna go down a Reddit rabbit hole today. Okay. I have funny stories I'm gonna get to that I'd like to get to. I will only say this. <laughs> there are some very opinionated people. <laughs> More, more specifically, Wubby, your tattoos look like dog shit was my favorite comment. So here's what I will say. The beauty of a tattoo that I get is it's never going to be on your body. And I'll say this. My tattoo artist that tattooed my hands, he did a face tattoo that's like all the way down the side of this girl's face, right? And I was like, holy shit, that's terrifying. I would never get that tattooed. So... Some of you probably look at my hands and go, holy shit, that's terrifying. I will never get that tattooed. And you know what? I understand. That's fair. I'm okay with that. I actually can't be mad about that. I'll allow that. I think that uh, <clears throat> that's the beauty. The, they're not your hands. That's what I love about it. You want to see it? It's on the sub or it's on my Twitter if you want to see it. Um, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'm over the moon about it. I'm stoked i love the way my hands look now i love that my one of my biggest things I've, I've i've started to get a lot of tattoos i have a full sleeve on my right arm i have a sleeve i'm working on on my left arm and one thing i've hated uh is you if i'm wearing anything for cold weather which i often wear because i'm fat all of my tattoos are covered and i hated that i want people to see that i have tattoos i want people to know that i have tattoos and it's gonna blow some of your minds here I think tattoos are fucking hot. I think they're attractive. I think that they look good on men. I think they look good on women. And I like uh, that my hands have tattoos now. When I walk past the mirror, I am more confident. I like the way I look. I was looking at myself and in the hotel. I was looking at myself when I got home. I love it. I love the way I look. They make me happy. And and uh, anyone who it doesn't make happy, I have, guys, I have great news for you. It's not your hands. So there you go. Uh, but... I, I, as with every tattoo I've ever gotten, I will give you the, uh, I feel I'm the only man to give you honest tattoo pain for my body. So here we go. All right. I have here. You, they're covered right now. Okay. They're covered in, uh, in whatever. So they're leaky and gross. Okay. But just to, you can look at it on Twitter if you want. HP and Cheeto. People out of their fucking mind saying Cheeto doesn't look like Cheeto. That was a, hold on. I'm going to show you guys something actually. Before, okay, I'll talk to you about the tattoos and the pain, but <clears throat> I sent my guy a, a bunch of references uh, of both the cats. We've been working with this guy for a while. Uh, for I've been in talks with him for a few months, so this wasn't, you know, when you go travel for a tattoo. So, <clears throat> Cheeto, who is dead, was hard to get photos of since he's dead. And one thing that my artist pointed out to me was that Cheeto is and i'm giving you a jump scare warning cheeto is really ugly and my artist was having a hard time translating it in his style without it looking awful so he showed me the design that's now on my hand and i was like that's perfect you've made cheeto look regal it reminds me of cheeto more than anything <clears throat> we had this whole discussion about accentuating the mustache i loved it i love what he did with the mustache some people hate it that's fine it's not your cat it's not your hand right whatever but the reference photo, the main one that he said he, he <clears throat> worked off of, I'd like to show you that photo now. I feel like putting this on my hand would have been... Okay, really, this I'm warning you now, bit of a jump scare here. You suck. So, <clears throat> to all the people on Reddit going... That, that doesn't look like Cheeto. That looks like the Lorax. Yeah, I got news for you. Cheeto looks like if you put the Lorax in a blender, okay? Che oh, that doesn't look like Cheeto on your hand. That looks like the diabetes commercial guy. Yeah, you know who looks like the diabetes commercial guy? Goddamn Cheeto does, bro. Clean his eyes. Oh, my God. Okay, oh, don't get me started on his fucking eyes, my brother. Do not get me started on his fucking eyes, okay? This is a hideous creature who is barely alive at this point. Anyway, he fixed him. He Here's the bottom line, right? He made it look good enough to where I want, I want that on my body. He did. Does it look less like Cheeto? Yeah, I don't really want... I don't really want this on my hands forever. I really didn't. I was like, ooh, buddy. Buddy. Come on, man. Concept art reveal. I don't have it. If you've, you've probably never... 
maybe you have been tattooed. You don't get the concept art. You don't get that stuff usually. At least I haven't. Uh, you don't. They don't just hand it to you. In fact, they typically won't even let you leave the shop with any sort of art in your possession except what's on your skin. Anyway, <clears throat> so with that out of the way, yes, I have tattooed hands now. Yes, it's been something I've wanted for a really long time. And uh, I wear a green screen suit for 90% of my content, so you'll never have to give a shit if you hate it. All right. Can I talk to you guys about Denver? Pain level. Oh, that's right. Pain level. Okay, pain level. So I was, this was the first tattoo I was like really, really terrified of uh, because of everyone says your hands are going to be like the most painful part of your body or not the, the most, some of the most up there, right? Uh, I have this whole arm done. I have a lot on this arm. I have stuff on my leg and then now my hands. Uh, it, okay. Here's what I'm going to say. Rib, ribs hurt way more. Fair enough. I didn't mind it at all. I, I actually, I got, I was scared about getting both my hands done in one session and I did. And, uh, it didn't, it didn't bother. Like I was, I would, this is going to sound crazy to some of you. I'm just telling you my pain. I don't know. It, my shoulder hurt more and the worst pain was my, my calf, my, like the side in front of my shin. Um, so that's my fair warning to anyone who wants to get tattoos. Do not, do not Google tattooing. Maya said something different. Okay. Yeah. There are aspects of the tattoo that hurt real bad, but I'm looking at it as an overall experience from start to end. Uh, the hands were, I would put them low. I would put them, uh, low on the, on the pain. By far the worst one start to finish was the one on my shin and the side of my leg. That was by far the worst one. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't that bad. There are parts that sucked, but those lasted like 15 minutes. I've had six hour tattoos that I'm biting a pillow and being called a pussy while I do it. Uh, my armpit is, you have your armpit tattooed? <sighs> okay, wait, hold on. Where, put a one in chat. I, I, I wanna talk to my people right now, okay? Put a one in chat if you're heavily tattooed. Put a one in chat if you're heavily tattooed. I, I'm, I'm starting to understand something about you guys, okay? I'm starting to understand. Oh, I just dropped my chair down. I didn't mean to. I'm starting to understand something about heavily tattooed people that I never understood. And I'm going to say something that you, you're going to vibe with so well. Okay. These are the first tattoos that are getting attention, right? I had multiple people on my plane ride home try to talk to me about them. And I wasn't expecting that. But I was like, oh, this is nice. They're being very nice about it. But it's also the first tattoos that I'm getting that I'm getting very judged for. Like people think it's their right to tell me their opinion and how negative this Im impacts me, right? So to my heavily tattooed people, I now understand why you heavily tattooed people start to hang out with heavily tattooed people. I get it now. You want to know why? Because you're not judgy piece of shit. It's crazy to me. How many people are like telling me how to live? My like I saw people be like, Wubby, your chance of getting a job is over. My brother in Christ, I spent five years saying the N-word online and then I jerked off in a tent. You think hand tattoos at the end of my career are it? What's wrong with you, retard? Hello? Jesus Christ, how brain dead are you? To, so to my heavily tattooed folk, I get it now. When I, now, and also, I'm gonna say this and this is gonna make me sound really whatever, but I don't care. I, I used to look at heavily tattooed people and I used to judge them like hard. I look at them now and I'm, I just see like, damn, that must've taken a lot of time. Damn, that's like, there's a newfound respect. I get it. I, I'm not saying, there are limits. There are body mods that still scare me, but I try not to judge now because I get it. It's so fucking annoying. It's so, like, you. people look at you now, if you have tattoos on hands, neck, face, that's about it. If you have any tattoos there, people be like, whoa, that person's just, how could they do that? It's crazy. It's crazy. I what we well, developed empathy. It, I do genuinely feel that that being more tattooed has made me think about things differently. I will not instantly judge someone by the way they look, or I will try to. Uh, what about scarification? I, I I see that this is the point I was making earlier. I also don't. I I understand people seeing hand, hand tattoos and getting freaked out because I'm still that way with some stuff. Certain gauge things where like your ears are this big still kind of freaks me out. Certain body mods and face mods. It still freaks me out. It does. I sat next to a plastic surgeon on the way home from Denver today. She was this like 
I don't know, plastic surgeon. She's like, oh, did you just get those done? They're all wrapped up. I'm like, yeah, I did. She's like, you know, I'm a plastic surgeon. I view tattoos as like a type of body mod thing. I think they're so cool. And she was talking to me about it and it was really interesting. And I'm like, damn, she's probably comfortable talking to me about this because she probably gets so much shit too for doing plastic surgery. I just find it so fascinating. I don't know. It's cool. And I'm finding more and more people are being let like there's people who don't like tattoos and you're disgusting. And how could you, why would you do that to your, here's the zero IQ take I keep hearing too. But when you jerk off, it's like your cat's jerking you off. It's like, dude, if I'm thinking about my cat when I'm jerking off, I got bigger fish to fry. I got bigger issues, right? If I'm people saying, well, Wubby, every time you grab a titty, it's like HP's grabbing a titty. That sounds like someone who's never grabbed a titty, my brother. If you're thinking about the tattoo on your hand, when your ball's deep in someone squeezing their titty, my brother and cry, you got other issues, my man. Like, are you, exactly, it blows my mind. Anyway, but that's okay. You're needing. Uh, I, it is what it is, I get it. Okay, I'm sweating like a sinner in church, bro. Come here, HP, come on, fuck you little butt. I'm gonna stick my dick in it. <laughs> oh, HP. Oh, let me fuck your ass. Oh, oh, I have you on my hands. So oh, I touch my penis. I want to think of you. <laughs> Sorry about that. My little brother came in the room. Get out of here. Get out of here, little bro. <clears throat> Please fix your mustache. What do you want me to do? Okay. Um. So let me tell you about Denver and why Denver sucks. Let me tell you about Denver. I'm gonna, I'm gonna school you guys. Also, thank you, Papa, for the five subs. At Snore for the five, thank you. Before we talk about Denver, I, Daddy needs to get fed. How do you decide, how did you decide what your first tattoo was and was it hard to commit to? My first tattoo was a, a, a thing for chat. Like I lost a bet, so it was easy. And then after getting that one, I was like, damn, I really like tattoos. And it kind of went all downhill from there. And then I just started, you get to a point with tattoos where um, it, it doesn't, you, the analysis paralysis ends and you just go, I want less of my skin to not have art on it. I mean, that's really how it goes. It, it, that's how it went with me. And I don't think there's anything wrong with getting one and being done. All right. Cheers, Han. God. Ugh. Dude, I saw a clip. It was almost poetic. I saw a clip on TikTok. Uh, uh, from the Joe Rogan podcast um, where he was talking to Bill Maher about tattoos and it made me want to throw my fucking phone out a window. Bill Maher is like, why, why do you have so many tattoos? And Joe's like, I like them. And he's like, but why would you sp scar yourself with ink? Da, da, da. And he's like, B because I like it. I like the way it looks. I think it's beautiful and has meaning. And Bill Maher's like, yeah, but is it really worth the risk? And Joe's like, what fucking risk are you talking? And the, here's the, the best part of this clip. If somebody finds it, link it. I'll show it. But the best part of this clip is, is Bill Maher is putting forward this, like, narrative that, like, tattoos are risky in some way. And he, the entire time in this clip, he is smoking. He is smoking either, like, weed or a cigar. He's, in, he's smoking something. I don't know what it is. But it's like, my brother in Christ. We're going to talk about risk-reward here? And you're inhaling smoke, my brother? They used to be kind of risky. My bro, this, what, they used to be kind of risky. I'm sorry, I didn't know I was watching the Joe Rogan Experience episode 50 from 1835. What do you mean they used to be risky, bro? Well, are you, are, are, do you have Down syndrome? What kind of dumbass thing did you just say? No patience. Is this it? Joe Rogan talks about it. This is a seven minute clip. Okay, I ain't got seven minutes. I'll show you, I'll show you up until what, up until where I watch. Yeah, I mean, there's scars. I mean, what do you mean? Ink in them. It's really what it is. I mean, there, there's, yeah, there's, why, you could actually see it. Like, why see the why rage. would you do that to I like yourself? I, well, of course, you I like, like it. I, I mean, like but I mean, is Star it Wars. worth it? The, the, what, the, what is the reward to risk ratio there? What's the risk? The that risk I don't like that it? you're injecting ink into your skin? Uh, I, that to me just. Uh, just on the surface of it doesn't sound it's like it's not really it. injecting into your skin. It's well, leaving holes from the needle, and then the ink fills those holes. It's still it's, it's permanently. Okay. It really is a boomer take, though, isn't it? Like it's just it's so like I'm not educated, but I'm really confident in in my position on this. 
it's, embedded in your skin. That it's an art. still sounds so. It looks I know. I know. It? I know the art part. Come on, bro. It, it's still. You want to get a sleeve? You know you do. That's Miyamoto <laughs> Musashi. He's uh, who wrote the Book of Five Rings. It's a famous Japanese samurai. Hammer, are you calling him a Jew? What are you, uh, yes. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> Do you know who he is? He wrote an amazing book on strategy, and he was no. uh, he was like uh, an incredibly balanced guy. What 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 Bill says in response to Joe here? If you have tattoos, you just want to slap Bill in the fucking mouth. Just listen to what he, Joe is explaining the meaning behind this tattoo, which I find fascinating. I'm like, that's cool. Good for you. Guy, in that he he believed in poetry and calligraphy and creating art. But he was also the greatest samurai that ever lived. And the thing that he said was that you had to be all of those things. You had to be in balance, in full harmony. And by doing that, you had to be in touch with your artistic side, your creative side. And he killed 60 men in one-on-one -on -one battle with swords. I can dig all that, but why does it need to be on your arm? That's I, my question. So because it's his arm, Bill! What do you mean? Why do you look? Why? Um, you know what? No, no. I learned he's Jewish. We're not going to attack the way he looks because we're we're better than that. Because we're better than that. Because we're better than that. Because we're better than that. We're better than that. It just that uh, was a bad take, Bill. It was simply a bad take. But why? Why do you need it? You don't. It was his arm. He wanted to. He wanted to put it on his arm. Who cares? I read a book when I was like sixteen. I, I know. And it was by an ancient again, samurai, and I thought it was cool. You're like doing my tattoo bit like for me. Okay, it's, I believe he's smoking weed. You I am. You can't just remember that? Is no, this my is joke. why. Oh, I hate that. You can't just remember that. Oh, this I, is, I, I you asked a question. We're on a podcast. I, I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm just trying to. I mean, to me, this is more dangerous than the moose. This is it's not, like, I know, but like, it's not. Did he just say tattoos are more dangerous than mooses? Or is it is plural mice? Is he saying that tattoos are more dangerous than mice? Mies? Is it Mies? Mieses? Okay, that's Jar Jar, bro. Mies are going home! <laughs> Natural, and also it is ink under the skin. I mean- It's not- I own- Dude, it's not natural. No, but like, it's not natural. Wait, look, nothing we do is- What is natural even? What is natural? What? How could something be not natural? What does that mean? And also, it is ink under the skin. I mean, you can't tell me- You know what else isn't natural? It's cell phones. They're not right. naturally there. And that's why I never This is art. You know how fucking millions of people have skin art? I understand. Go, Joe. I don't like Joe Rogan, at least not anymore. I used to watch him like years and years ago when I worked at an office job. Uh, but he, I love that he's kind of putting him in his place. He's like, it's art. Shut up. Why are you being annoyed? Like, you're being old right now, Bill. You're being so old. Doesn't mean the millions of people do lots of stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not, we were just talking about how many people are obese. But you're yeah. also talking about. Now, don't, hold on. We don't need to go there, Bill. Now, hold on. Hold now, wait a minute. Me sitting here with my gut and my tattoos. Whoa, 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 whoa. One thing at a time, bro. Shots fired. Fat and tatted. No! Man, I hate Bill. This is as far as I got in the TikTok when I just, I was like, I can't. I can't take this. There's a certain amount of risk in life. And like right. The okay, I, no, okay, well, you get the point. Whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> what are we talking about? Oh, let me tell you about fucking Denver and why it sucks. Jump scare, here we go. Boom. Um... I have a story. I have a few stories for you guys. Love y'all. I love you. Denver sucks ass. It's a shithole. Mary Krimbus. You know what sucks about Denver? Is it it, it never got a fair chance with me because I was wipe and is back. I was shit on Happy to be a from the second I got to Denver. So let me explain. Denver Airport is worse? Yes, it is. Bro, you live in San Diego. Bad boys are sexy. <laughs> are you saying San Diego's bad, brother? <laughs> yes, we pay so much more here Kiss? because it's just so Make fucking shitty, dude. Sober? I have to go outside and, and clean Let's snow off my driveway, and the planes won't take Merry off a few Christmas times every year because it gets everyone. too cold here. What you said? Um, San Diego's amazing. It really is amazing. But anyway, I get to Denver. I get to my Airbnb. Okay, I go. I check it out. Notice how I said Airbnb, but earlier I said hotel. Okay, so I get to my Airbnb, I go sit on the bed, and I immediately notice, damn, this boy, stiff. And I don't complain, okay, I've slept in Airbnbs with cockroaches, I'm here to get tattooed, I'm here to leave, I'm not here to, I'm not trying, I didn't go no five star, I got a cheap Airbnb, whatever. The bed is stiff, but I forget about it, I'm like, I'll try to sleep on it later, I don't think anything of it. Go, watch some TV, hang out, time to go to bed, okay, it's like 2, 3 a.m., 
the night before my tattoo, I go and lay on the bed, and <laughs> now that I'm fully on the bed, the bed is giving no way. It, I'm realizing now that I'm not even really sure if this is a bed or if it is, it's like a, it's just a, a box spring with like a thin layer of memory foam on top of it. I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna suck it up. I'm gonna suck it up. I'm just gonna sleep here for the night. It's fine, it's only two nights, whatever. I'm instantly feeling mad pain in my sciatic nerve. I'm like, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna wake up and my back's gonna be fucked up again. I go get a hotel. So right out the gate, I message the Airbnb people. They're like, I can't refund you. So I just took the L. I didn't want to fight him. I didn't want to be mean. It's Christmas, whatever. I just said, fine, take my money. I'll get the hotel. I got the hotel, moving on. All right. Then, <clears throat> actually earlier that night, I got into it with a 7-Eleven employee. I got uh, extremely into it with a 7-Eleven employee, and I'm going to tell you how that went. So I went to go purchase some recreational marijuana so I can enjoy my time watching Rush Hour 1, 2, and 3. By the way, those movies, I find them very funny. They do not hold up. It is mostly Chris Tucker making super fucked up Asian jokes to Jackie Chan and me laughing with corn nuts. That was the majority of the movie. I was like, this is funny, but it is very racist. And what I love in Rush Hour 2, they throw the racism back a little bit at Chris Tucker, which I was like, okay, now this is fair, right? Because the first Rush Hour 1, rewatch it. Rush Hour 1 is almost every punchline. Ha ha, uh, Jackie Chan, Chinese person. Don't care, plus you're white. Ha ha, Chris Tucker said something racist towards Jackie Chan. That's like the whole, he literally, at one point he's like, he, he, he's like, he, he threatens to take him back to Panda Express. I shit you not, it's that kind of humor. Yes, I laughed. Okay, of course I laughed. I'm just letting you know, you know, it might blow your mind a little bit. I feel like if the, whenever the Zoomy kids, whenever the TikTok kids get a hold of Rush Hour, Chris Tucker better lay low. He's been doing a good job for a while, but uh, Jackie Chan has an N-word pass. Wouldn't that be crazy for like Rush Hour 5? Cold open, close in on Jackie Chan, like, like just like 8K, and he just says hard R, just right there, boom. He's like, that was for Rush Hour 1, 2, That's 3, true. and 4. Anyway, is there a fourth one? Whatever. There is a fourth one? He did say, wait, Jackie Chan says the N-word? I have a story to tell, and now I'm sitting here searching up Jackie Chan N-word. Oh my god, wait, what? Wait, he says it in the first rush hour? Oh, wait, wait, I remember this. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's not what you think it is, though. It's, it's, did you even watch? I, I was so high. I was so high. You didn't even watch it. <laughs> I remember this now. It's the scene where the fight breaks out in the bar and, and Chris Tucker's in the back talking to his friend. He says it to a white dude. That's not the same. What's up, my nigga? Ah! Wait, I don't think this was in the- Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. I feel like I might be being gaslit right now. I feel like this wasn't in the cut of the movie I watched. I feel like this wasn't in the cut of the movie I watched. Was it? It definitely was. I rented it on Amazon. Or wait, did I watch it on Netflix? Can some okay wait hold on hold on hold on hold on? Can somebody do me a can somebody do me okay? I need I need two people from chat out of all of you sitting here. I just need two people. Can somebody watch it on Amazon right now? And can somebody watch it on Netflix and tell me if he's if it's I man, maybe I was just really high. <laughs> What's up, my nigga? What Jackie? did you just say? What's up, my nigga? What? Uh, dude, I swear I would have remembered this. This is so crazy. What? Jackie, Bikini Barbie, thank you for the hundred. Holy shit. We doubled down. Oh my God, what? Jackie, my boy. Jackie, my boy. He knows like eight words in English and one of the N-word. Holy shit. Enjoy the seven day vacation. Why would I get banned for Jackie Chan saying the N-word in a movie? You know, Bikini Barbie, thank you for the 100. I'd like to remind any Twitch mods potentially watching this that 
Bikini Barbie did just gift 100 subs, and that is how much money? Like, well, I can't be exact, but you know, that's a few hundred bucks in your pocket, Twitch. So I'm just saying, you know, if you want that to stop, you can make me take a seven day vacation. So. <laughs> Okay, maybe it, maybe maybe it is because I'm realizing that how do you cut this? How do you cut this? Bing, ching, ching. This is what start. Okay, racist. How how do you cut this? In uh, to because this is what starts the fight. There's no way to cut it. Well, be the Netflix cut has it. Okay, hold on, hold on. They changed the word. They cut the sound. Wait, did they cut? The okay, hold on. He does say it on Netflix. Okay, okay. So can you check the Amazon one? I don't remember where I watched it. Yeah, and then here's the fight scene. Okay, and this fight scene was sick, and the pool cue, and in the bloopers, he catches the pool cue, and it snaps his hand. I watched Rush Hour. I swear to God. Why am I... I have so much to talk about, and I'm getting caught up on... on, on, on did Jackie Chan say the N-word in Rush Hour? <sighs> what are we doing? <laughs> are we, am I live? <laughs> uh... Can can okay. I need someone to take the L, dude. There's about to be like a hundred people renting <laughs> this shit. Can just coordinate, okay? Seven Eleven weed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sub goal for a haircut. What do you, what do you want my hair to be? Uh, we gotta talk about it. Longest streak. <sighs> Dennis Alona's room, watching rush hour clips. <laughs> yes, Byron. That's a reverse name. mohawk, so just shave down the middle. It's on Amazon at 10.52. Okay, why did I read it? <clears throat> All right. Skin fade to a crew cut. Thank you, Tex. It's a good cut. Civ stream? Never. That's All right, so 7-Eleven. <clears throat> so I buy my weed. I'm wait. I, 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 I'm like, ooh, there's a 7-Eleven outside. I'm going to go hit up to 7-Eleven, get some snackies, because I'm preparing for a night of... Rush hour, which includes some Jackie Chan racism. We love that. Uh, it's 2 a.m. here. Should I put a pizza in the oven? This dude, this guy on the subreddit today said something that killed me. He left a comment that was like, hey, Wubby, I'm going to be working on meal prep all night tonight. Could you keep the visual jokes on stream to a minimum? I can only watch with audio tonight. So please, uh, when I give the word, I'll be back in front of my computer. But until then, please just keep it an audio only stream. Uh, I just, I just, the idea that someone, it was just so funny to me. Anyway, okay, like, LOL, no, exactly. So, I walk into 7-Eleven, and I want you guys to know, if I would use a word to describe myself when in public, I would use the word docile. <clears throat> okay? I would use the word, uh, 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 painfully aware that I'm in public. Okay? I, I, I am, or fat, I would use fat, too. I mean, if we're talking about adjectives for my body... But docile doesn't really, I wouldn't say that, wow, that, see that guy there? That man has a docile body. Actually, I might, damn, that sucks. Okay, anyway, I would say docile. Painfully large. So I'm walking to 7-Eleven, as I do, I get stuck in the door, and the guy behind the counter has to get the forklift out, as it always happens. Oh, uh, Wubby's here, here it goes. So anyway, I walk into 7-Eleven, I grab my corn nuts, okay? I grab a, a Pepsi Zero Cherry, because that's what they had. Don't judge me. All right? Kind of rare, right? I was looking for a Coke Zero. Um, what else did I grab? Some fucking, I don't know. Uh, they had Duvaline there, which I was crazy about. The Mexican candy. Should give me diarrhea. So I walk over to the counter, and I realize, ooh, I actually have some cash on me, which is very rare. And whenever I have cash, and whenever I'm in a gas station or store like that, I will always buy a uh, lottery ticket. Every time. Without fail. I licked Ramon's package. Good job, guys. You get me. So I, I want to be clear here. I don't often end up inside of a gas station. It's actually really rare for me. I don't, when I pump gas, I don't go up to the counter. I usually pay at the pump. Uh, and oftentimes I don't go into gas stations. It's usually just snacks. I don't, whatever. I don't, <laughs> oh, fat guy. I don't. I just don't go into gas stations often. I probably buy five lottery tickets a year or i'm um, like a scratchers a year that's it just for fun it's always just for fun it's not going to be life-changing money maybe i'll win 10 bucks and it'll pay for my snackies that i decided to get okay let me land all right i'm not addicted i just do it every time <laughs> so i sit there and i buy it and i'm sweating and i'm panicking and i'm crying and i'm talking 
to myself. I think it's in my head, but it's not in my head. I'm talking out loud to myself. God, I just fucking need this. I fucking need it. I will say, though, uh, I do this really uh, degenerate thing when I do scratchers. I don't play the game. You think I have fucking time for that? I'm important. I have places to be. I have rush hour one, two, and three to watch, okay? I take there. I get a coin. I scratch the barcode. I scan it. I know. I ain't got fucking time to play Blue's Clues, Words to Hunt. Bull. Who, who, you know who does that? Fucking poor people do that, okay? People who go, well, I need to make this ticket worth my time. No, no, no. You're poor. You're chasing the dragon. I don't need that shit. I scratch it. I scan it. I walk away, okay? I am fucking time for that shit. Anyway, so... Base, thank you. All right, Tom Segura. Is that a Tom Segura bit? Hold on. This is like the fourth time now that people accuse me of stealing from Tom Segura. Wait a minute. I'm going to drag you, you ugly, stupid bitch. I, the last time somebody said you're stealing a Tom Segura bit, I remember we went through that whole fucking special. We went through that whole fucking special, and there wasn't a si Are we doing this again? Are we doing this again? Do you remember? Do you guys fucking remember? Are there just like Tom Segura shills in here who are just trying to get us to to watch his shit? I want you to know, I like Tom Segura, but I also haven't watched a special of his since he lost 50 pounds, okay? It's been like five years since I've seen anything Tom Segura, all right? Thank you, Bikini! 59 tier 2 subs! Why? I'm actually so flattered. Thank you. Appreciate it. Not because of the subs, because you compared me to Tom Segura. Subs are pretty cool, too. Thank you. Remember, Twitch, if I, you're banning me because Jackie Chan said the N-word, Bikini Barbie has now gifted the equivalent of 200 subs. Well, 218, if you want to get specific. So, something to think about it. Uh, anyway, so, I'm there. The guy, I'm going to paint a picture, and I'm not, I, I need, this story may sound unbelievable, but I'm starting to become... Is the term is is black pilled the proper term here? I'm starting to become like very very cynical to the world. Where uh, I and I, I, this might be fucked up, but I I will be nice and kind and neutral to anyone who crosses my path. I will, but I will assume I will assume in my head that you are a selfish piece of shit until you prove otherwise. I'm not gonna treat you that way, right? But I do think that, and let me explain why. I've had a bad, I've had a bad Didn't few ask. days, okay, with the general public. I'm gonna be real. I've had a bad few days, and I've been sitting here going, "Damn, like you just suck," and I did nothing to you, right? So, let me land. I'm there. I pay for my food. The guy is nice. We're cordial. There's no issue. Just kind of shooting the shit. Oh no, thanks. Oh, uh, cash or card? I'm like, I got some cash, and I'll take a, a number ten too. He's like, all right, scan too. Here you go. I'm like, keep the change, whatever. I just walk by, okay, go over, scratch, whatever, uh, 35 and old is what you're telling me. All right, scratch, Ten it was a $10 scratcher, boop, scan it. <clears throat> to my surprise, winner, $100. I gasp, not because $100 is going to change my life or your life or whatever, but I was like, oh, I, I went, oh, 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 shit, like, this is exciting, and the dude working there and his coworker, who's a, a young woman, this dude is probably mid to late 30s. Uh, he had a ponytail. And uh, if we want to get really specific, I can give the address of the 7-Eleven so you guys can ruin his life. Uh, he has teeth. All of his front teeth, these ones and these ones, were extremely rotted. This is important to the story because fuck this guy. I hope he, I hope he one day he, he just fucking collapses and dies. Okay? So anyway... I, I scan it. Oh, oh, I'm like, oh shit. So I walk back over to the counter and I'm being cheeky with him. I'm like, hey, I'm like, here you go. I'm like, winner. And uh, instantly the mood has shifted. I am no longer talking to the man who, by the way, I still have just like a, a blurry racist Jackie Chan on my screen. I am no longer talking to the man who just sold me my corn nuts. I'm, I'm no longer talking to that man. I am now talking to someone who... I'm, <sighs> You're going to think I did something or I'm lying, but this is what I mean by I'm cynical now. This man, for no reason, hates me now. I, I, I am going to do the thing my mom would say. I don't, because I have no other explanation. Maybe he was jealous. Maybe he, uh, maybe he was mad or something. Um, no money, money in the, t okay, thank you. We're going to get to that. So you've gotten fat. Bitch, I've been fat. End it all, dude. Literally, end it all. Um, so I'm like, oh, here you go. And he goes, so 
instantly the way he's talking to me I, f I have notes here i took notes while this was happening by the way as he was doing it, i'm like oh here we go stream story i start typing um some guy pulls up in a bmw bro i was in denver i ubered there i pulled up in a in a, in a toyota with some dude named like majit i'm not even lying to you by the way that's the truth okay so uh um where's the start okay so he goes uh he goes, hey, I just so you know, I cannot pay you right now. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, what is, what's the problem? Do I, should I come back later? And he goes, I only have, now come on, I'm not exaggerating. I'm being like dressed down at this point. I don't know why, but I'm being dressed down. He's like, I only have $30 in the register. And in order to get more than that, I'm going to have to buy more from the safe. I don't know when that's going to be. I don't know how long it's going to take. And I'm like, okay. Uh, okay, there's no problem. I, I can just get more tickets, I guess. I'm like, uh, what are my options here? And he's like, I don't know, man. You handed me the ticket, so we're in this now. And I'm like, uh, okay. So I'm standing there, and I'm like, um, do you have, like, an estimate? And he's like, no, I cannot tell you how long it's going to take in case somebody comes in, because then they'll use that to rob me. And I'm like, what? I'm, I'm like, okay. I'm like, first off, let Let's figure this out. Like there's, I'm like, I don't understand why you're now talking to me this way. I don't know what has happened. I didn't say that aloud, but I'm like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know why I'm being talked to this way, but I feel like this man wants me to get tickets. And this is where I'm like, okay, I'm not going to get tickets. I feel like he's trying to play me into getting more tickets or something. I don't know. So then I just start crying. I shit my fucking diaper and I run out of the store. No. Okay, mine. First night in Denver. This is my first night in Denver, and this is like the third human being I've interacted with that's from Denver. And uh, so then I'm just standing there, and I'm like, okay, let me let me try to figure out what I want to do here if I want to wait or not. Then he goes, actually, can you figure it out somewhere else? I'm trying to deal with customers here, and I do one of these. I'm the only one in the store, and he goes, there's a door dasher coming or insta whatever it is, and this is his order. You're in his way right now, and I'm like, dude, I'm like, dude, you need to like chill the fuck out like now i'm starting to like i went from i'm gonna diffuse to okay dude let's throw down like you want to fucking do this i'm twice your size what, what are you gonna say to me okay D oh i got i'm like we can go there we can talk about your teeth what do you want to do bro we can talk about your financial situation we can talk about the fact that you're almost 40 and you're working at a 7-eleven at 1 a.m we can talk about all that shit what do you want to do okay i i had half a mind to leave the ticket with him be like you need this more bucko have a nice night okay lowercase ass looking dude what a stupid piece of shit anyway okay so so i i don't do that yet i'm just telling you my mind i'm telling you my mind is starting to go from i'm here to diffuse to fuck this guy fuck this when he tells me to move like that i'm like excuse me i'm the only one in the store besides your coworker. okay so i move i take a step back and i'm like where would you like me to stand then and he's like you can't stand there so i just take three steps aside okay so i'm standing there and i'm like okay what what how do i how do i what do i do now and i'm like okay well can i have the ticket back and he goes nope it's too late see the staple i already stapled the receipt you can't have it back now and i'm like okay uh i wasn't aware that you only had 30 dollars in the till do you think maybe you could have informed me that before you took my ticket maybe as i'm handing it to you say hey maybe wait i don't have a lot of money in the register you can come back tomorrow don't you think that's something you want to inform a customer of and he goes <laughs> He goes, listen, I don't know where you're from, but you're clearly uninformed. I've been, I wrote this down. I have been working at 7-Eleven for 16 years and every 7-Eleven I've worked at has less than $50 in the till past well, like midnight or 11 or whatever, okay? I don't know where you're from, but you're uninformed. Now I'm, I'm boiling. I'm standing there and I'm boiling. And I'm like, okay, so we're gonna play. Okay, I'll wait here as long as it takes then. Okay, go ahead. Do the fuck, buy the money from the, I'll wait here as long as it takes. And he's, he's throwing a fit. He's huffing and puffing. He's frustrated. And I'm, and as he, so he starts doing something. I'm like, I'll just fucking stand here all night then, dipshit. Here I go. Okay. So I'm standing there. And then I get a little brave because <laughs> I'm fucking pissed off. And I go, hey man, I, I don't know where you're from, but where I'm from, people are nice. You know, people give common decency. I'm like, Christmas was two days ago, homie. Okay, you're talking to me like a real piece of shit, right? I don't say those exact words, but some of the extent of like, well, where I'm from, people are nice. You know, there's common decency amongst human beings, right? And then he's like, well, I don't know where you're from, but I'm not even from this town, dude. And he starts true. posturing and whatever. And I, here's, here's the, this is the craziest part of the story, okay? During that time, I 
Shit you not. I would say exaggerated Wubby wanting to make the story better would say five seconds. Actuality would be under 60 seconds. He has already somehow appeared with a hundred dollars in twenties in his hand. That is how long it took this whole shebang. All of this was for the five. I don't know what he did. He's like, I had to buy money from the safe and then get it out of the safe. All of this shebang, by the way, all, the entire event happened in less than five minutes. But between him telling me I'm uninformed and me telling him he's not nice, $100 appeared in his hands. It was that easy. <clears throat> so he also points out after I said uh, that now he has the money in his hands and he's kind of holding it hostage. He also points out that, hey, I was nice to you. But I wrote this down. There's a note in my little thing. I was nice to you, but now you're getting on my nerves. And I'm like, when were you not? I'm like, you're like, holy fuck, dude. What is happening? So then he starts counting uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And I'm like, hey, dude. So I take, I have the money in my hand. And as I'm walking out the door, I go, hey, man, I'd be mad too if I was working at 7-Eleven for 15 years. And as I say that, I push open the door and I know, here's the best part of saying that as I walk, I can, right? Like, yeah, man, I'd be pissed too as I, if I was working at 7 Eleven 15 years. Walk, as I'm opening the door, I hear him go, I don't only work at 7 Eleven, I have other, and right there, the door closes behind me. I'm like, ooh, you know, you know that man stand there going, <sighs> can you believe you said that about me working at 7 <laughs> Eleven? I've had other jobs. I've had so many other jobs other than 7-Eleven, too. I work another job right now. <laughs> Dude, right? Cold. It's like, you, here's, the, here's the thing, right? No I didn't, and I didn't go, hey, I'm a Twitch streamer, and I make this, and I'm here. I flew here for tattoo. I didn't do any of that. I was like, hey, man, you, I get it. You're, you're probably mad right now because this is your life. I'm going to walk out of this store, and I'm going to continue my life, which is anything I want to do. And you're going to be stuck here two, the, two days after Christmas paying me out for a lottery ticket. That fucking sucks. That, that, that's something that on the drive home, he's probably like, I have more than one job. I don't just work at 7-Eleven. Anyway, mean wubby. Nope, nope, nope. There are people in this world, okay, who uh, honestly just fucking suck. And I don't want an excuse that you had a bad childhood. I have personal friends, deep connection people who have had the worst life that I've ever heard of and are some of the kindest people with the most beautiful hearts. There is no excuse to treat strangers so horribly. Literal NPC interact, exactly. Absolute, I, like, and listen, there is nothing I can say. There is nothing I can say that will ever sting more than working at 7-Eleven at midnight. That's the problem, right? So, that is my impression of Denver. That is what I got out of Denver, okay? Thank you for the five, Nyquist. I appreciate it. Could have just been having a bad day. But my brother in Christ, I've had bad days. I have bad days all the time. I have bad, I have days where I'm so mad. You know, I, I used to work retail. I used to work, I used to work Thanksgiving day and the day before Thanksgiving at a grocery store, okay? I never took out anything on customers unless the customer was a piece of shit. Uh, then yeah okay then we're then we're then we're beefing absolutely beefing um i have another story this one was on christmas and these two things happening have caused me to lose faith in humanity get that guy on stream i would i would pay that guy 10k to get on stream I would pay that guy $10,000 to get on stream because I want him to sit here and try to scramble. That is how I am $10,000 confident that this man has no excuse for how fucking rude he was. I can't, do not make it happen. Do not dox. I'm not giving any public information or private information away. Do not make it happen. Okay. And I'm not saying that to flex my money. I'm saying that is how confident. Hey, it's me. I'm the guy. <laughs> Hey, I'm the guy. I'm the guy. I was wrong. Can I have the money? <laughs> but I, I, it's just, it, there is nothing that man is going to get on stream and say that's going to justify how he acted, which is why more than anything, I want him on here. Because like th that man, I, I guarantee if we talked to him again, he'd be like, yeah, that's my fault. I was having a bad night. So sad, too bad, dipshit. Okay, so then this Christmas, I have a Christmas story. Can we get some Christmas music going? 
me as I click over to my YouTube tab and type in chestnuts roasting. <clears throat> what the fuck? You were in Denver? Yes, I have so many Denver stories I'm going to be sharing with you guys tonight. All right, here we go. So this story comes to you guys on Christmas, Christmas evening. I spent the majority of my Christmas day with family, and it was really nice. It was a great family Christmas. Hold on, let it hit. Thank you. And then for the evening, we did a friend Christmas for everyone that lives here in San Diego, a bunch of the friends. And I went over to, uh, I guess I can say, I went over to Maya, Maya and DJ, okay? We all hung out, it was a big thing. And they, I don't wanna get too specific, but <clears throat> they live in a place uh, that has, uh, uh, it, I don't, how do I not dox these people? <laughs> they have a driveway, okay? And, uh, and public street, uh, uh, okay? That's all I'll say. And so I get over there, it's Christmas Day. I get over there pretty late. And by the time I'm leaving, uh, it's I left really early because I had my flight early. I was the, I was the only one who left. I, uh, I had my flight the next day for Denver. I park my car and I go inside whatever Christmas. Woo! Can I tell you guys what I got my friends? Can I tell you guys what I got my friends for Christmas? I got uh, yes. OK, I got my I got I got my friends. Uh, well, we did a gift exchange. I got them BMW. No, I'm kidding. They got PS fives because I'm a good friend. And then uh, one of them owned a uh, a PS five already. So I got him a shirt that says I already own a PS five that I got custom made at the mall. And on the back it just says Coke Melon, which I thought was really cool. And then I I took twenty dollar bills and each individual one of them was wrapped, and that was the value of a PS five. I thought that was a good deal. Also, my fucking mom calls me the day. I got my mom a, a Louis Vuitton fucking thing, like a clutch or whatever. I put money in it for her. My mom calls me the next day and she goes, hey, my car broke down. Uh, could you cover it? <laughs> I was in an Uber on the way to the airport. And I'm like, man, I'm like, yeah, fine. I, okay, anyway. Okay, and then I got my dad an oven, which I thought was a good gift. I got my uh, my brother a Herman Miller chair. I thought that was a good gift. Huh? Huh? Right? No microwave? No. Anyway, did you get a mug from DJ? No, I got fucking blocks with photos on it. Anyway, okay, so we're doing a gift exchange. All right, I got to go. I got a flight to catch. Goodbye, everybody. Hugs, kisses, spanks, whatever. I go to my car. Okay, my beautiful, tinted, murdered out 2022 BMW X7 M50i, okay? And I'm not, listen, I'm not saying that, that Maya lives in a bad neighborhood. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, you know, we weren't necessarily in, you know, Cliffside La Jolla. That's all I'm saying, okay? We weren't necessarily there for, for, for Christmas. I parked right in front of their place, right in front of their driveway, street side. And it was Christmas. I was like, listen, if I'm in the way at all, you know, it's Christmas, you know, relax. It was literally Christmas evening. It was, uh, I think I left there at like 11 o'clock at night. I was there for two hours. I'm driving in my car on the way home because I got to get up early for a flight. And I notice a little thing flapping on my windshield. And I'm like, oh, fuck, did I get a ticket? I'm like, was I, was I? Was I parked like too far from the curb? I don't even know. So I quickly pull over and I grab this. And now we're going to read it together, chat. <clears throat> Never, ever do this again. I will tow this piece of shit. Never, ever do this again. I will tow... This piece of shit. And then, yes, I did tear it, but I think it's important to note, this is on a slip that you would use to take orders at a restaurant. Listen, I'm, I don't like going to, like, attacking your financial value when you piss me off. I don't like doing that, okay? 
but I also probably wouldn't write fuck you notes on the on the front of like an order slip. I'm, I, 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 listen, I'm just saying, okay? I wouldn't do that if I was trying to attack somebody for parking their BMW in a way that I didn't like on Christmas, okay? It's all you ever do. Fuck this poor fucking, are you kidding me? Okay, I was driving home and I was seething because I was like, this, first off, it's fucking Christmas. I have lived in cramped areas. I lived in condos, apartments. I've lived in houses that are street side. If someone parked in a way that I didn't find acceptable, you know what I've done? This has happened to me. I've had my car blocked in. Okay, I wasn't blocking anyone, by the way. That's a very important note, but I've had my car blocked in. You know what I do? I go knock on a door until I find whose car it is. I go, hey man, your car is blocking the spot. Could you move it? And then you know what they do? <gasps> I'm so sorry, won't happen again. My fault, OG. Or if it's, or if I don't have the time to do that, I leave a note and go, hey man, you're blocking my spot. Please make sure to not park here again. Were you blocking them? No! Let me make it very clear, okay? I was not blocking anyone. That's what's mind blowing. I was blocking the house that I was visiting. That's what's crazy. Okay, here's what pissed me off about it. Here's what's pissing me off, here's what pissed me off about it. It's so fucking cowardice, right? On Chris, this person on Christmas evening was going, uh, walking the streets at between, I was only there for two hours, between like nine and 11, was walking down cars leaving notes because I shared this with my group chat and I was like, yo, fuck your neighbors. Like, if you know who this is, fuck them. Tell me who it is. Carlos goes out to his car and guess what's on Carlos's car? Another note. Okay. But here's where I almost blew a gasket. Let me see if I can, uh, can what, can somebody link the note? Let me see if I can find it. Uh, Hold on. I'm going to look for it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Real life Scrooge, literally. And you guys wonder why I'm like losing faith. It's because these people, people just suck, dude. They're selfish. They fucking suck. If someone came out to me and told me my car was in a way that they didn't like, you know what I would do? I would be so embarrassed that I would panic. I would sprint out to my car and be like, oh my God, I am so sorry. Merry Christmas, my brother. Let me get this shit out of the way for you, okay? Carlos got a note on his car. Before I show you this note, let me remind you what my note said. Okay, what my note said. Ne I'm, I'm reading this verbatim. I tore it just now in my anger. Never, ever, we're now in all caps, never, ever do this again. I will tow this piece of shit. Smiley face. Carlos got a note. Carlos, uh, Carlos, can you type in our, in our DMs, what kind of car do you drive? Carlos, what kind of car do you drive? Now keep in mind, you know, I pay Carlos. He's like a barely functioning Honda Civic. It's sensible. Carlos, what kind of car do you drive? He's typing. He's, ty he's on mobile. He's on mobile. He's typing. Carlos drives a 2016 uh, Ford Focus. So Carlos drives a car that's a great, great A to B. So it's sensible. If anything, right? <clears throat> I have nothing bad to say about a Ford Focus, just like I would have nothing bad to say about anyone's car <clears throat> because you probably worked hard for it and that's what you could afford, okay? I have nothing bad to say about anyone's fucking car. And no, I'm not personally invested in this story because of other issues I've had with my car. No, I'm not. Sorry. Ignore the voice crack. Carlos got a note on his car. Now, hold on. Yes, Wubby, you're telling the story very slow, but I need you to feel what I fucking felt on Christmas fucking day after giving beautiful presents to all my friends and family, okay? After giving... <laughs> Someone just said real voice. <laughs> I love the idea that I have a fake voice for stream. Okay, here's what the note said to me on my, BM, my 2022 BMW X7 M50i with full tint, the complete black package, interior white piano. Uh, also, fully upgraded massage chairs, plus the two ch captain's chairs and heating and ventilation on every chair. Okay. <clears throat> but who's asking? Never, ever do this again. I will tow this piece of shit. He, he was livid when he got to my car. Here's the note on Carlos's car. The 2016 Ford Focus, or whatever it was. <laughs> Never do this again. I will have your car towed. Mm-mm-mm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> oh, here we go. This is perfect. Here we go. Never, ever do this again. I will have your car towed. Never, you ever do this again. I will have your car towed. Oh, there wasn't even an ever. Hey, man, I noticed your car might be in the way of something I'm trying to do. Could you move it by any chance? Also, I love the 2016 model of this Ford. It's actually really sensible. Never, ever park your shitty 2022. Shut the fucking music up. Jesus Christ. Never, ever park your BMW on this street again. Ever. This piece of shit will be gone from the property. I, 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 compare the ticket numbers to see whose was first. Oh my God, you're so smart. Okay, <laughs> dude, you guys are so autistic. All right, Carlos's is 107344. Mine is 107345. So you could make the case that he got progressively more angry as time went on. And I'd like to point out too that Carlos, just like myself, was also parked in front of their house and not blocking anyone. Uh, so there's that. It was, it, listen, okay. So once I saw this note and I saw that, and I, I don't want to do this. I love Carlos. I don't want to do this to Carlos, okay? I don't want to do this to Carlos, but listen. <laughs> when I saw that Carlos's car was not commented on at all, and my car was pointed out to be, here we go. When my car, this, these are not my hands, guys. And my car was specifically made note that it's a piece of shit. It hurt. It hurt. I'm not going to lie. And maybe, 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 maybe. Wait, there's a logo on the bottom left. Maybe it's a hotel. No. Your choice for value. Choice. What does that mean? You blocked the sidewalk. No, I didn't. And you know what, dude? You know what, dude? You know what I'm going to say? Okay. I blocked the sidewalk. Okay. It's Christmas and it's 9 p.m. It's Christmas and it's 9 p.m. Okay. Get your head out of your ass. Maybe if I'm blocking, which I didn't, I didn't. But if maybe if I'm blocking the sidewalk, it's because I'm spending time with friends and family. Okay. Like really, I'm sorry. Like get your head out of your fucking ass. It's fucking Christmas evening. The, the streets, like small streets with houses are going to be overcrowded. Welcome to Christmas, you fucking dipshit. Like, you're like, I'm sorry. It, the worst part, too, is there's no callback. There's no nothing. This is anonymous because this person knows the heat if we saw him doing it. They wouldn't leave a number. They, you don't leave a number on a note like this. You know why? Because you're fucking scared. Because I'm going to dunk on you with my piece of shit car, dude. I'm going to run over your whole fucking family. And you know what? With my, with my beautiful suspension, I'm not even going to fucking feel it. I ain't going to feel a goddamn thing. And then I'm going to click it into sport mode, and I'm gone. I'm fucking gone, dude. Unhinged? Bro, unhinge this dick. Okay, don't you have tables to wait? You got trolled, plain and simple. I don't think we got trolled. I think there was a... I don't think we got trolled. I think, I, 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 don't, I, I don't think we got trolled. I think that there was a neighbor who, I'll be honest, probably was having a really bad day. Some people hate Christmas because that's when, you know, uncle got touchy. Uh, so I think he was having a bad day. I think he maybe walked out of his house and saw that there were a lot of cars outside of this house. And he's like, I need to be mad about something. I need to take it out on someone. This will make me feel better. You're not going around writing notes like this on Christmas evening unless you have no one to hang out with. I wasn't doing it. I had people to see. I had people who I wanted to see who I cared about. You're not walking the streets with a note and a pen leaving notes on cars on Christmas evening unless you are alone. Do I pity him? No. I hope he gets buried alone. I don't give a fuck. Some people on this planet, dude, do not, they, they, uh, they do not deserve your sympathy. Okay? Sorry. Anyway. So, <laughs> thanks, chat, for finding the broccoli. Appreciate you guys. Um... So with that, that's Star. why those two stories, those happened within 24 hours of, of, of those, both those stories did. And that may, really made me take a step back and go, damn, people will be like really shitty to you for no reason. And when you ask them about it, they will copium justify it and they will walk away feeling like they did the right thing. It's not even, I'm not even saying evil exists. I'm saying people suck. 
They will do horrible things to you if it makes them feel better, and they will walk away thinking, this guy probably is on his stream right now. You're not going to believe this, dude. Christmas night, bro. This fucking douchebag in a Beamer pulls up, okay? He was just doing donuts and bur just burning the tires. He woke my kids up. He th you think this is my only job? Exactly. Same energy. POV, you're, st you're shy in high school. What does that mean? Who are you, what is that? Are you coming for me now? Win the next booker. Do you not use your turn signals? I do use my turn signals. In fact, because I used to ride a motorcycle, months, oh yes, it's smile. something I like feel very strongly about. I get the BMW meme. I find that funny. Like they won't even lift a finger. Okay, good one. But because I rode a motorcycle, uh, turn signals are like extremely important to me. And if I'm with someone and they don't use their turn signals, I will chew them out, dude. It is, uh, I use turn signals. And by the way, all of you should. All of you should use turn signals. What bike? I had a Honda CBR. 600 and this was uh god this was probably almost six seven years ago at this point because the reason why turn signals are important when you're on a bike is because you i don't want to die and when, you, when you're on the freeway and you're like i want to be in this lane now you're gonna kill someone <laughs> lifting a finger literally will will save motorcyclist life so, and as someone who rode and saw how few people use turn signals, it like burned it in my brain. Like if I do anything that involves moving the car left or right, the signal's on. The signal, I, I, I sig okay. I don't know how people drive without signals. If I'm on the freeway and I need to get over a lane, the signal is on the second my brain thinks about it. And then I go, okay, mirror, mirror, over shoulder. How do you guys drive without it? How are you not scared? I want to tell people where I, I, I'm serious. To the people who don't use signals, how, how do you have the bravery? It's, I am terrified to do it without letting every car to my right know that I'm going right. I don't know how, how it's a skill issue. I hope you get pulled over one day. There, I said it. There, I said it. There, I said it. Probably the same type of dude who writes, never ever do this again. I'm fucking cri I'm so mad about that. Sorry. I'm so mad. <laughs> guys, I want, can I cry? I'm putting on this tough exterior, but I really just want to cry to you guys. And I want you to tell me it's okay. That's true. I love you. No, don't cry. I don't want to see you like this. What's up, Wubby? What's up? All right, I have a little happier story from Denver now, if you want. It's in my I came. Driving a BMW is not okay. <laughs> Everyone needs a moment. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Kardashian. Thank you. Thank you. He's lit right now. You should put. You should get Cool Wubby out, and Cool Wubby can cry for you. That's not a bad idea. I'm done meal prepping. Yes! Are you the meal prep guy? Happy it's rare to see a BMW that signals. Man, that sucks. If that's Let's true, go. that fucking that's annoying. Everyone should use a turn Ooh, yeah. signal. All right, so I have I have one last story. And if this guy's watching stream right now, I'm sorry, I'm about to drag you. This one's short and this one's simple. So I was at the airport, and once at the airport in San Diego, and uh, once at the airport in Denver, I got recognized, which is surprising because I'm pretty incognito at the airport. I have my hood on, okay. Uh, I, I don't think like it's I feel like when people spot me in the airport, I'm like shocked almost. I'm like, damn, like how long were you staring at me? Right. Your feelings are valid, King. Thank you, brother. Yours aren't. Don't be a pussy. OK. Short and simple, just like you. Don't be mean. I'm Jacob. So I'm at the airport. I'm waiting at my gate. <laughs> and <laughs> sorry to this guy. By the way, this guy is watching. He DM me on Twitter. <laughs> After this, when I got home, he DM'd me on Twitter and he apologized for the, uh, he, he apologized for the awkward interaction in his own words. What, what is Twitter down? Can anyone access Twitter? Is Twitter down or is it just me? No. Did I get hacked? Oh, Twitter is down. It's been hacked. What's wrong with Twitter? It's down. It's broken. Blame Elon. Elon shut it down. He pulled the plug. Wait, really? Is Twitter down? Twitter status. Twitter is up and down. Okay, so it's 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 down for me on desktop, but on mobile it's up. Oh yeah, it, there's definitely issues. I see people reporting it. Thousands. Okay, it must be a desktop thing. It's working on desktop for me now. Let me try it again. But well, whatever. 
Okay, whatever. Anyway, it's not a part of the story. So I'm sitting there at my gate, just kind of chilling. This was, by the way, chat, for those of you who don't know, this was like less than five hours ago. I woke up in Denver today. I got home about an hour before going live today. Yes, boys. Yes. You call me lazy. Maybe I am. Maybe I am lazy. Maybe I don't work hard. Maybe that's true. But you know what? I'm still live today. I've been up since 7 a.m. Okay? I it will be this. I wake up at 7 a.m. every day. Yes, but then you go to work at you 9. Suck. Okay? I'm a, I, my fucking performance starts at 5.30 p.m. I've been up since 7. I'm not lying. I chugged a fucking coffee. I'm not lying. I chugged a coffee today when I got home. Uh, what airline did you fly? I'm not going to tell you. So... I, uh, where the broccoli at? Whatever. You work for three hours? Yes, I know I do. But I also could have canceled just as easily. Anyway, a whole coffee. Yes, I did. I chugged a whole coffee for you guys today. And that's a big deal because I will have diarrhea here within three hours. I have diarrhea coming within three hours. Big deal for me. He flew spirit. No, I didn't! Leave me alone! So, this guy starts walking up to me while I'm just chilling. He's got a mask on. We're going to call him white t-shirt guy from now on because he uh, identified himself as guy in a white t-shirt on Twitter uh, when he messaged me. I did not fly Frontier. This is disgusting. Um, and he comes up to me and there is a joke I do. If you've ever met me in public, you can attest to this. I always make this same joke and I immediately let you know it's a joke. Okay. But he comes up to me and goes, hey, uh, uh, sorry to bother you, but like... Uh, you're wubby. I just wanted to say hi. And I go, no, don't talk to me. I just right there. I interrupt. Him. I go, no, don't talk to me. And he goes, oh, I'm so sorry. And he starts to walk away. And I'm like, <laughs> now I want it to be clear. Normally, most people will like kind of laugh. And then when they acknowledge that, I go, I'm just fucking with you, man. What's up? I'll talk to you. Right. I just, it's like an icebreaker. Right. <laughs> but, I, but I go, no, do not talk to me. And he goes, I'm sorry. And he turns around and starts to walk away. And I'm instantly like, oh no, it backfired. For the first time, I've actually crushed the spirit of a young man at an airport. I'd cry. How could you? So as he's, I'm like, no, no dude, I'm kidding. I'm come back. I'm kidding. And he's like, oh, okay. Oh, uh, well, I'm not going to. Now, here's what sucks. He is panicking. And dude, if you're watching, I'm sorry. I love you to death. I, 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 I already told him in DMs, I said, hey, I'm going to talk about this on stream. And he's like, oh, man. He replied, oh, man. <laughs> so we just white t-shirt guy is his name. We don't know anything else about him. He goes, anyway, I, I saw you. Just want to tell you that, like, I'm a huge fan. I love what you do. I'm not going to take up your time. I'm not going to ask for a photo or anything, which, by the way, you guys can ask for photos. It does not bother me at all. Really, ask for a photo next time. He's like, I'm not going to take your time. I'm not going to ask for a photo. I just want to let you know, I really like what you do. Thank you. And I, I was like, oh, thank you, man. I give him the nucks. And he's like, okay, that's all. Have a good flight. Tattoos look sick, by the way. I'm like, oh, thank you. I barely had a chance to respond. <laughs> this is what's so funny about what happened. I barely have a chance to respond. He is, go he is just walking, gone. That's f okay, here's what's funny, too. This man had no luggage. This man had no backpack. This man had no indication that he was in any way at an airport. Okay. And then here's what's the most funny about it. I start looking at this guy. He doesn't know this. He doesn't know this part of the story. I'm looking over at this guy to my left now walking. He has not stopped. I'm looking down the longest corridor of, of Terminal B or whatever at Denver Airport. This thing is huge. And he's just... I'm like, he's got to go to a gate at some point, right? Why is he this far away? How far did this guy have fucking binoculars and notice me? He's just, and he's just getting smaller and smaller. This man walked so far away to where I could no longer see him. He did not go to a gate. He did not go sit down where his bags were right over there. No, he just gone, gone. He just kept walking until he was gone. Now, here's the question I posed to you, chat. How long was this man scoping me out? Did he panic? Did he go, fuck, my gate's right next to Wubby, but I'm no longer getting on that flight. <laughs> That's my theory, is that his bags and his shit was at the flight right over here that was like maybe right next to me or two down maybe. But he's like, 
I can't. I I cannot be near this. I I fucked this up so bad. I need to keep walking. <laughs> he just. He went for as far, he went past every single gate you could see. <laughs> and I'm sitting there. I'm like, man, there's no way he's that far down. He's probably just panicking. He's like, I'll loop back around when Wobby gets on his flight. If I miss mine, that's it. I don't care. He's still walking. <laughs> call him. Why do I want to call him? Maybe he was a nervous stalker. No, no, no. It wasn't weird at all. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> the visual of him just getting smaller and smaller as he gets <laughs> buy him a bmw why well, don't want to turn him into a fucking piece of shit asshole okay he was an employee he he was just in a white t-shirt he had a mask on too like a like a whatever he probably saw you when you got off the train and got up from eating or something that's fair that's fair <laughs> but it's i you know what <clears throat> here's why i don't want to call him Here's what's going to happen when you call him. You're going to call him and he's going to go, yeah, I, uh, my bags were down there. I saw you uh, earlier. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to go see if I can get food. And I left my bags with my wife. And uh, then I noticed you there and I was like, oh, I'll say hi. That's probably all that happened. But that's not funny, chat. You know what's funnier? What's funnier is he was at the gate with me, okay? And he panicked and walked all the way home that day. That's funnier. And you know what? I don't want him to correct the record. I don't want him to that's set the true. record straight. I want this guy in my head to be panic walking until his legs gave out because the interaction was so painful. <clears throat> what if, he, are you sure he wasn't a ghost? I, I had not yet weighed that as a possibility, but I'll, I'll leave that open uh, as a potential. Thank you, Zen Master Ben for the 10 subs and just that guy for the 10 subs. Are one of you the guy? It was just a hallucination. Yeah, I'm tired. I am tired. I, I, my flight got delayed, by the way. I was supposed to get home. Uh, I was supposed to get back to my house closer to three. And I was like, I'll take a quick nap and then I'll go live. It'll be perfect. I'll be happy and, and go lucky. I'll be happy and go lucky. And then my flight got delayed an hour. Uh, and the fucking, oh my God, every, I hate flying so much. There, nothing goes right with flying. I've never flown and everything went right. It's so amazing when it does. It's so rare. We're on the runway. This is the worst thing to happen too by the way flight's getting delayed that sucks that sucks you know what's worse is getting stuck on the fucking runway we're at the runway we're in, we're in line to go and uh captain uh, we're having some uh, technical difficulties we're gonna try to uh, restart the plane here it should be about uh 15 minutes fucking 65 minutes goes by oh uh, we're looking about five more minutes here I just, okay, okay, any, I, I just, I just, here's what I always say when it happens. Why can't they just be honest? Why, I, I, I just, what, you're saying that's spot on? It, because it literally happened today. He comes on and gives us like, ah, 15 minutes will be nothing. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, that's not fucking true. You're lying. You're lying right now. There's something else going on and you won't tell me what it is. And you're just trying to keep us calm. And, and, and it, it's not, nothing you've said is true. And then, oh God, the bait too. Uh, flight attendants, please prepare for takeoff. Says that another 20 minutes. De-icing takes forever. Maybe, maybe that's what it was. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was, but it caused me to be an hour late already, which is fine. I didn't have a connecting flight, but it meant I didn't get a nap. I had to get home, chug some Starbucks and go live. 30 Rock did an episode on this. I've never seen 30 Rock. Would you prefer if they fly with a doggy plane or dodgy plane? I see. No, I, I, I let me tell you what I'm, let me tell you what my problem is. It's not that they're doing things to keep us safe. That's amazing. South Dakota Sunshine, they were the five, bro. Appreciate it. It's not that they're keeping us safe. It's that the pilot's never honest about it. I have been stuck for hours in a plane, and they're like, uh, we're trying to figure out the, uh, the toilet situation. I'm not lying. I think Alex was there for that flight, okay? I'm not, they were like, oh, yeah, we got a toilet issue. I'm like, just fuck, what? no, you don't. Why have we been here for two hours? What do you mean? Do pilots even know though? But then, but then they, they, they then tell me. Hey, I don't know why air traffic control is telling me I can't take off yet. What did you do that to? I didn't do anything. There was a woman too fat on my flight that they had to do this. This, this was bizarre. I've never seen this happen. There was a, there was a, she had, she had like a double wide surprise. You ever seen a, uh, I almost said a bitch, but I'm, I'm learning. You ever seen a whore or you ever seen a woman with like a, uh, like a older woman like an obese older woman whose butt is like a shelf. 
You know what I mean? Like, like here's the top half of her body. And then it's like, do you know what I mean? There was one of these on my flight. God bless her. Love her to death. I don't mean anything by it, you know? And something happened at the back of the plane to where she needed to get past and the people needed her. They needed to do some kind of finagling. You know how you sometimes you lean into your chair and you know, all whatever, but she couldn't do it. And so I'm sitting there and a, like a whole line of people, like 15, 20 people start coming back out the plane. And I'm like, Oh boy, here we go. Someone's getting kicked off. There's something. I just hear flight attendants going, go keep walking. Keep walking. I'm like, Oh boy. People just got kicked off. This is bad. And I see all these people come walking up. And then up come, last but not least, I don't, I don't want to be mean here, but last but not least comes this like lady with a shelf ass, kind of like scooting her way to the front of the plane. And I'm like, oh, is this because she's too wide? And then everyone comes back in and then she's last aboard. I'm like, that got her, her fault for being a fat American. Found the Europe. Well, at least our schools. Well, at least our schools. It's horse Kim Kardashian. <laughs> so yeah, that that happened too. Uh, well, let me see if I have any other notes about my trip before we move on. Um, no, I think that's it. That's it. That's my. That was my. Um, that was my Denver tales. I had a good time. I got my hands tattooed. My tattoo artist was great. I think his name is Denzel.Inc. on Instagram. Check him out. He, did, he didn't know who I was, which was cool. I prefer that. I just got to... He was a very quiet guy, by the way. If you, if you look up what he looks like, I think he has it on his Instagram. He might be the scariest looking man I've ever seen in my life. The dude has like piercings that are like... like a, it's like a dot here, a chain, a dot here. Dot here, chain, dot here. Dude, he has gauges like this fucking big on his ears. Terrifying looking dude. But one of the most soft-spoken men I've ever talked to in my entire life. Very nice. Love him to death. Um, and I would recommend him. Go, go. If you're in Denver, he does incredible work. Like, literally. Uh, his tattooing is, is phenomenal. And he's fast. Dude, was, dude did both of these in like what? Three hours? Maybe three, four hours? It was crazy. It was really good. Uh, okay, so thank you, BB McGee, for the five subs. I'm in Denver. Who is it? Denzel.inc on Instagram. Is he expensive? Bro, no. Bro, he was not expensive. Like, I don't know what it is with these artists that aren't in, like, Maine. Like, like, like I get tattooed in Southern California, and then I've gone, like, abroad. Not abroad. What do you call it? Like, I got tattooed in New York. That was expensive. But when I went to Cody... Cody Ellis tattoo in Indianapolis. And when I went to Denzel Inc. in Denver, these motherfuckers are not charging what they need to be. I think it's because of the cities they're in. But I when they 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 was tell me what it costs, and I'm like, bro, I'm tipping you 100 percent Like of what it is. Cause this is too cheap. This is too this is ridiculous, bro. Tell them to move. I had a conversation with Cody about that. I was like, bro, if you're in LA, you could 10x what you're charging. You could 10x what you're charging for these anime tattoos. Anyway. How do they usually react? Um, thank you. That was nice. <laughs> he looked me, the thing is he looked me up after uh, he was like, oh, because we, you know, we kind of talked a little. He's like, what do you do for a living when it was finished? And I was like, oh, I'm a YouTuber and Twitch streamer. And he's like, oh, I'll have to look it up. And I'm like, please wait till I leave before you look it up. Because usually this either goes downhill or we become homies. And then after he's like, oh, this, you're so, this is funny, good shit. Like, you come down anytime, whatever. You can talk about me and your content. So I was like, okay, cool. There's your shout out. Go, t go get tattooed by Denzel Inc., okay? His rent would also be 15 times. That's fair. That's fair. But he probably would have more clients. I imagine a tattoo artist, like a like a acclaimed one. I mean, the dude who did my hands, his entire wall of his studio was like, first place, New Orleans tattoo show, first place, San Diego, first place, da -da -da. first place tattoo, first, and I'm like, that's how you know you're in a good shop. When you walk in and it's just a wall of like plaques and awards. And also, you know what? I'm gonna one guy myself before we move on to the, de listen, you can hate the design of my tattoos. You can hate the placement of them, but how dare you disrespect the art? Oh my God. There, someone was like, that is the most scuffed tattoo I've ever seen. Bro, these, the, what are you, you know what? It's fine. We're moving on. All right. So how much did the plaques cost? Probably, probably not a lot. He had a lot of them. Um, who did your Indianapolis tats? Cody Ellis tattoo. He does anime tattoos. It's my Gyome on my leg. My most painful one. R. Kelly released a new album called I Admit It. Please listen to it. Well, is that correct? 
Oh, that's my video. Oh, why did my video pop up? R. Kelly, I admit it, part one. <laughs> Isn't he in jail? Isn't he in jail? How did he do? I admit I done made some mistakes. And I have some imperfect ways. I admit I helped so many people. And them same damn people turn fake. I admit it was so hard to focus. I didn't go to classes. I admit that I dropped out of school. I admit that I wasn't that cool. I admit I just feel like retired. Admit I just don't feel like trying. But I'm out. I feel like. I feel like he's in jail for like serious crimes. And he's playing with fire when he releases something called I Admit It. And then when you hit play, he's like, I wasn't good in school. I've been kind of lazy. This was leaked? You mean confiscated? Like, like by the guards? I don't understand. <laughs> Can he not sing anymore? I don't know. Okay. So tonight, chat, we're doing a simple little... Oh, wait! Nobody fucking move. Actually, no. I have a we have a calendar for January's content that I can reveal to you guys. But I think I might wait. Uh, let's see. Google cal. Anybody else struggle to spell the word calendar? I feel like there should be an A in the middle, and it ends up being an E every time. <clears throat> I can't spell calendar. It fucks me up every time. E at the end. Yeah. Show the tats, retard. Dude, they're, it's literally swimming in, in Saniderm plasma right now. Like, let me let them heal and I'll show you. They'll be on me forever. I'll be buried in my Jewish cemetery with them. Okay? Uh, nice cat face. Thank you. I love my kitties. And when I look down at my hands, I actually get filled with such joy. They make me so happy. All right. I'm looking at the January calendar right now. None of this is final, which is why I'm not going to show you the calendar. But I'm going to take that shit out of your hand. I can't, it's actually there forever. Um, none of this is uh, 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 permanent or locked in. All of this is subject to change, but we're trying to give you guys more of a calendar so that uh, there's just a little more transparency and, and uh, we can be a little more organized so I don't have to randomly cancel. With that being said, uh, Sunday. This Sunday is New Year's Day. Okay, I will try to be live, but it is tentative. Because, yes, on New Year's Eve, I am going to be drinking and spending time with people I care about. I hope you guys spend time with people you care about on New Year's Eve as well. I want to be live on New Year's Day. Um, but if I'm severely hungover, I'm not going to do the content bad. I will cancel stream on Sunday. There is your fair warning, okay? But with that being said, let me tell you our tentative... January stream list. Okay. There are some days that are left blank intentionally. There are some days that have question marks next to the content because we might move things around. Planning streams out a month in advance is hard because current events happen. Things change. People get sick. All kinds of things. Live content constantly change. But here's what we have for January tentatively. Okay. Uh, Monday, uh, f uh, sponsored, uh, stream with America's card room. Wednesday, high laugh you lose. This is the fourth. Uh, Friday, the sixth. Possibly game show, game show. Uh, Sunday, media share, the eighth. Which I should probably... Wait, mm, I don't know if... The, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. That one might be too soon. Wednesday, a Discord game with chat. Wednesday the 11th. Friday the 13th, horror stream. Uh, Sunday the 15th, possible IRL stream. Uh, some of these I can't read because they're secret. Like, uh, we're doing something on that Monday, but off stream. Uh, Wednesday the 18th, Lie Detector Stream Part 2. Friday the 20th, this one is left blank for possibly moving things. Um, Sunday the 22nd, some sort of game with, uh, chat, Discord, something like that. Uh, Wednesday the 25th, a punishment game, like Punishment Archery or Punishment Fear Pong. The 27th, Friday, You Cringe You Drink. And Sunday the 29th, can I announce this or should I not announce it? Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, I'm going to call Peanut. I'm calling Peanut. No, oh, I'm being told no. Booty's saying no. Can I announce what's happening on the 29th? You're saying no? 
Um, oh, fuck, I have a stream on mobile. I can't remember exactly, but no. If it's, it's the thing the, I'm thinking of, no. It's the thing you and Booty are working on. No, not yet. Okay. But right. that is very hype. Okay. Okay, bye. It'll be very fun. Okay, bye. Okay. So I'm being told to not announce what we're doing on Sunday the 29th, but we are doing something big and something new and something fun, and it is a very rare thing on this stream. I will not be... I'm being kept in the dark intentionally so I can be a contestant on it. I'll leave it at that. We've never done it before that way. I'm nervous. I'm passing the reins over to Booty and Peanut. Um, but it was a decision that they think for the pilot for the first thing we want to do with it they thought it would be funnier if i'm a contestant so we'll leave it at that uh there is your january uh tentative stream schedule thank you very much love you guys okay grownish gambino thank you for the five you can announce it you can announce the other things we're doing not on stream what are we doing not on stream what are we doing not on stream we're filming for that thing oh <laughs> oh okay i guess i could announce it Monday this Monday the 9th we are we are going to attempt to film a podcast episode. Thank you. All right, we'll leave it at that. All right. What are we doing tonight? <laughs> whoa, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Whoa, ooh, 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 ooh. We'll see. We'll All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, the Nuzlocke is this Friday. Yeah, but that's not January. I'm Happy doing a Nuzlocke this Friday with uh, Carlos, which is a, we're doing a Shadow Pokemon speedrun versus thing where if your Pokemon dies tonight. or faints, it permanently locks one. itself out and chat, you get to name every single Pokemon. It's going to be a whole thing. There's like random elements to it. I'm doing, I'm, that's my content for Friday. Um, word of the day. Fuck you. What are we doing tonight, chat? I'm glad you asked, chat. You are going to be playing a game. Jimmy the Drunk. Thank you for the five, bro. Preach. Let's hit that sub goal. We're so close, guys. And you guys know when we hit 24K, we're doing that Switch giveaway. Thank you so much for the support, everybody. All right. Put your broccolis in chat. You know, Broccoli Nation, stay strong. Thank you, Scary Noob, for the 10. Appreciate you. All right. I had so much to talk about. I'm sorry. Um, so what are we doing tonight? I'll, I'll say it again because I never want to get accused. Uh, hello. Oh, wait. Fuck. We do have all that shit. Should we just save it? We should save it. We can save it. We should save it. Yeah. I'm going to be too tired if we don't. No, okay. Yeah. I'll explain to chat. Thank you, Booty. Yeah, so we actually have... Uh, you know how we have spillover on MediaShare where we have we finish it up the next day? Well, we have some spillover for the P.O. Box stream. So I think we're going to finish that uh, sometime soon. We have like 15, 20 packages that I was going to do tonight. And they're all outside my door, and Booty just knocked to see if I still wanted to do it. Um, but we're going to wait. We're going to wait. Don't worry, though. We have your packages. I oh, can I show you guys something I bought? Big Land is taking for the 10. What the fuck? An L block. Thank you for, isn't that a prison thing? Or oh, that's O block. And that's not a prison thing. Sorry. I, I, anyway, thank you for the 10, Big Land. Can I show you guys something I bought? What do you mean no? Why are people saying no? You don't want to see? Also, I'm putting on my green screen suit for this. I just didn't want to wear it with my hands right now because it makes them sweat. Let's talk broccoli. No, I've been really, I've been, I've been really into buying tuft rugs recently. And there's a couple people I buy from, and I bought one from a website called S Class, S Class Supply or something like that. And I reached out to him and I was like, hey, when is this sale going on for this this rug that you have on your site? It says it's going live on, on Friday. Can you give me a time? Because I don't want to miss it. And he's like, oh, Wubby, I know who you are. It's going live at one. Thank you for the support. So I bought it. I bought the rug and I noticed right when I bought it, Star. it sold out instantly. And I was like, oh, is this like a one of one rug? And the rug arrived today and I'm going to show it to you guys. And on the back, the main reason I'm bringing it up, it is a one of one. But more importantly, he wrote Heart Wubby on the back. So, chat, look at this. Look how cool this is. Ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Look at him! Wait, wait, where's his hand? And he's a white supremacist! Oh, his other arm. Sheesh! That dude, good timing on the sheesh. Look at this boy! 
He's beautiful. He is beautiful. Look, 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 look. They hit me with this stun. That made, that made my heart warm. So thank you, bro. I appreciate it. All right. While we're setting up for this game here, let's address the elephant in the room. Me. That was a fat joke. Self-deprecating humor gets people excited for sure. Um, let's address the elephant in the room. <clears throat> the chicker. The, the chicker. Wow. You ever say something that sounds like it should be racist? I was trying to say chair and sticker and I it came out as Woo. I was trying to say chair and sticker, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what? We're going to leave it at that. All right. So, Booty sent me a video today from a YouTuber named Doug Doug who did something similar to uh, what we did with TikTok, but he did it with YouTube. And the game that we're pulling straight from Doug Doug's video. So, shouts out to Doug Doug. Go watch Doug Doug's content. Okay. Uh, if we ever pull something from another content creator i try to make sure you guys know so if you see anyone in chat please honor system let them know that i'm giving full credit to doug doug for this idea uh but i have up on my screen right now a fresh youtube uh it's i've never uh searched anything in this browser i've never searched anything on youtube this is all clean this is what youtube is going to send to you uh if you just got on the platform okay so here is what you're gonna do chat i'm going to give you uh a ludwig did a tiktok speed run i don't give a fuck i'm gonna give you guys a prompt okay in this case maybe the prompt is find me a video with you have to sign in why would i sign in why would i sign in i'm going to give you a prompt maybe in this case find me a video with broccoli I'm going to put up a click map on the screen. So anyone watching can click on the screen. Okay. You guys will have 10 clicks to find me a video with broccoli. So here are how the rules work. You can click on anything on the YouTube screen. You can go home. You can go back if you want. You can go to, you can click on their channel name. You can click on anything you want, but you only have uh, 10 clicks total. Uh, as far as once the majority of you vote, I will click it myself. I will be the one to click it. That counts. All right. So let me get the click map set up and let's get a prompt. Now, Booty actually has sent me a bunch of prompts that we can choose from. And Booty had some fun with it. Uh, some of these are ridiculous. I think we have a good one to start with here. I do. Okay. This one is fun, but I don't think we're Booty wants me to start with find a video with Wubby in it. Uh, I think that might be too hard for the first one. I do want to do that. I think we should do that as a prompt, but let's start with something easy. I think a good, safe, clean start would be find me a video that has broccoli in it. I think broccoli is clean, safe. Okay, bottom left. Okay, so chat, I need you to focus here, okay? If you got Denzel Inc. Wait, you're not the real Denzel Inc. You're not the real Denzel Inc. If you are, thanks for doing my hands. You did a really good job. I appreciate you. Um, okay, so let's... Hold on. I need, I need the Nintendo music, man. It just makes me feel safe, you know? The only thing that... The only thing grande about Ariana is my fucking... My fucking penis when I look at her. <laughs> man, you leave stream for like three, four days. You come back, you're just missing. You just, it's miss after miss after miss with this guy. It's just, it's just, you can't, you can't hit. Hold on. Let me, um, <laughs> that's a good joke. Uh, I'm going to put on my green screen suit now because I don't want to block any of the screen for you guys. Take more days off. <laughs> if one more of you says Arabic couch, I will fuck you. Thank you stubs for the five subs. Once again, guys, we're doing a YouTube challenge chat. You are going to be the ones clicking and finding things on YouTube. Suck my mouth. Suck my mouth. Promise? Yes. You got. Wait. Do you guys want to find an Arabic couch? Is that? Hold on. Hold on. 
You want that to be your prompt? Is finding an Arabic couch? You realize that might be hard for a prompt, chat, but if that's what you want, you, okay, hold on. Let's, okay, chat, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to start with broccoli. We're gonna start with broccoli. And if you guys, okay, here's what my rule will be to you guys. If you guys can successfully, I should probably say this on camera, because Pina and Carlos are probably crying right now, trying to edit this fucking disaster. Whoa, look! Wobby doesn't have any tattoos anymore! He's not threatening to me and my daughter! Yes, I am. Yes, I am threatening to you and your daughter. You better be fucking scared. All right. So, I will give you guys an Arabic couch challenge if you, sh if you can get the broccoli one. If you show me that you're competent and you can get to bro- Bro, she's nine? Anyway, um, if you can get to broccoli successfully, then I will give you Arabic couch as your next challenge, all right? How do I do the fucking click maps thing? I haven't done this shit in years. Loot reminders, sound alerts. We're on a three minute ad. Are people doing shit like that? Run a three, who would run a three minute ad? Oh my, how do I, booty? <laughs> booty, booty. <laughs> booty, how do I run a click map? It's not showing up, <laughs> Booney. Smart, oh wait, I have to activate it. Oh, I'm so stupid. Replace overlay one, yes. Done. Boot, I think I got it, Booty. Oh. Is it just, is it? Yes, and then I think it's probably like a browser source you have. Yeah, but then how do I run it, Booty? Uh, Control the extension from your t Twitch manager page. Who the, the fuck? Dashboard, so then under, where those little shortcut things are, I think you should have a button. You think I should have a button? There should be a button for a click map. Oh, there it is. Smart maps, click maps. Boom, baby. All right, chat, we're going to test something here. Thank you, Booty. Yeah. Booty was just here for moral support, and that's kind of what I needed. So here's what we're going to test. Everybody click on the elephant in the room here. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm launching up click maps. Okay, hold on. It's launching. Hold on. Okay. Everybody click. Okay, you guys can now click on the stream and it should appear. Oh, wait. There it is. It should appear. It should it it sh it sh it should appear now. Now, 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 now it should have now. There we go. Okay, so go ahead and click on the elephant in the room. Okay. All right. Move the chat. We'll hide chat for when you guys get to clicking. Okay, good. So now you guys see how it works. So in this case, I will be clicking, by the way, where... <laughs> wow, a lot of you got something to say. I will be clicking where the number is. So if you guys see 55% is right between my eyes, I'll be clicking where the 55% is. So if there's ever like, oh, I clicked between two videos, make sure you're clicking dead center of the video. All right? Okay, you guys ready? <clears throat> We're going to stop the click map. Close it. It should clear it. Let's restart. Okay. Um, all right, cool. Does everyone understand how the game works? Now chat, your goal! Everyone say hi YouTube, because I'm about to, I'm about to hide the chat. Look, look, everyone say hi YouTube. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead idiots. Go ahead, now's your chance. Go ahead. Peanut, pause it and dox one of these people. Pause it, I'm serious, dox one of these people. Find a photo of them, find their full name, find everything about them. All right, here we go. Uh, chat, boom. Chat's gone! Okay! You have 10 clicks! Find me broccoli! We are going, this is gonna, this is gonna be slow. Okay? Now remember, if you're good, we'll do Arabic couch. And if you get broccoli and Arabic couch, I will reward you guys. I will, I will reward you guys. All right, you have 10 clicks. Uh, you can click anywhere on the screen. I'm gonna put up the, uh, the poll or the click map here. Uh, Every viewer gets one click. Go ahead, start clicking. Where can we find broccoli? Let's look at what we have even here before. I mean, I should have done this first. Medical memes that just hit different. That's okay, Dr. Mike. That might be something, I don't know. Uh, wait, are you, you guys are clicking on eating? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't even see that at the top. There is on the top here with all these tabs, there is an eating section. I didn't see that. I think that's really smart. I see some people can't get off the Ariana Grande in a in a bra. 
kind of down. Nine percent of chat is down bad. Actually, no. If you combine these two, seventeen percent of chat is down bad. All right, eighty-five percent of you um, have gone for eating, and I want to point out, fourteen thousand people clicked here. Fourteen thousand registered clicks. We're gonna go to eating. Okay, you're crashing the goddamn thing. Wait, 17%? It was set. No, no, I'm not bad at math. I'm not bad at math. It was 17% when I read it out loud. Okay, let's go to eating. Your first click, you now have nine clicks to find me broccoli. You have nine clicks to find me broccoli. All right, you guys ready? Let's look. I'm going to let you look at this first. Now, this is a house rule. This is a house rule. Okay. I'm going to scroll down. But it's whatever fits on my page, right? I can't be like, oh, what's down here? So we're going to leave it for right here. We're just going to leave it on what it gave us without scrolling. If you want to scroll, I will let you use a click to scroll. All right? Fair? I'll, you know, I'll give you one zoom out. There's a zoom out. I gave you one zoom out. All right? Uh, let's continue. Let's read what's on here first. We got Jay Schlatt, Chinese cooking. I'm reading the channel names. Mr. Beast eating pizza. Mr. Beast eating water. Review, bro, with Taco Bell. I mean, there's all... There's so much to choose from here. You guys are stunlocked on the otter. All right, go ahead. Otter birthday buffet party. Fuck, is there going to be broccoli at that at that party? <laughs> I, I'm not going to say it's up to you guys. Everybody get your clicks in. I want everybody clicking. Everybody's click matters. I think that if... Okay, let me turn this down. I think that just by looking at this, it's definitely not tribal people trying Texas barbecue for the... <laughs> probably not that. Probably not. I think the otter is probably the best bet. 89% of you are clicking on the otter. All right, fuck it. All right, we're going to the otter. Here we go. You're going to have eight clicks left. So you believe... I'm going to zoom in. Are you kidding me? This is so zoomed out. What's wrong with you guys? There we go. So I'm going to... You have eight clicks left. Okay. Okay. I am going to let this play, but while it plays, we're going to look at our other options here. You guys may have fucked up, I'm realizing right now. You may have fucked up. You are now in full-blown, like, cute animals territory, and you've removed yourself from food. If there's not broccoli in this selection, you have fucked up. Because now it's just otters can't wait to swim. Funny cats. Oh, there we go. This looks much better. Funny cats and dogs. Tiny baby stoat has the best. Is there broccoli on this table? This is what's important. Is there broccoli on this table? 2x speed. Let Hold on. This is slow. Here we go. I'm seeing a lot of sushi, a lot of fish, and maybe some chicken. I'm not seeing broccoli. Ah! <laughs> it's in the bowl. Where? Where's the? Where? I saw broccoli. Where? No, you didn't see broccoli. Where's the broccoli? Where? Where the fuck's broccoli? The first bowl? Go back. Where? Okay, here. Everything's empty. It's right there, bottom left. What? Where? Where's their broccoli? Hold on, hold on. Okay, let's get some sound on this. That's not broccoli. There's no... Hey, 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 hey! Hey! That's not broccoli! Oh, I'm dangling. That's not... Hey, idiot! So yeah, no, that's not broccoli, and I'm not conceding. That, that, that is not broccoli. That's not broccoli. Enhance, my brother in Christ, there is nothing here that even needs to be zoomed in on. I'll, I'll skim this video right now, but it, I mean, this is what he eats. I'm seeing him, there's no new food added, and, and what I was yelling at you guys is, I don't really see an otter enjoying broccoli. Enhance, dumbass. Okay, let's see if there's anything in here about it. Uh, there's no broccoli in here. Hold on, let's, 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 hold on, hold on. Can sea otters consume broccoli? Otters eating broccoli. Okay, well, so they can't, they physically can, but that doesn't, okay, that doesn't, that, that, none of, okay. I'm not playing this game with you guys. They're not, there's no broccoli on this goddamn thing, okay? Just don't, just play the fucking video. All right, you guys are gonna, uh, you have, you have eight uh, more clicks to go. You can click back, 
back is an option or you can click on the channel you can click on uh any of these videos those are your options go back well okay that's up to you guys all right the you can click now clicking is up and available while it's up i'm going to give you guys the fair chance here to skim this video to see if there is any broccoli which i do not think there is nope full screen it now nope no click we won <laughs> no you didn't wear it okay there's no broccoli here and anyone continuing to say there's broccoli is absolutely copium out of their mind all right the majority of you are voting back and what is that 95 or 65 percent of you want back I see that a, a small portion of you guys have decided to start clicking on the closed tab, which would be an instant disqualification. 24% of you and growing want me to subscribe. <laughs> wait, there's, wait, there's broccoli? Where's their broccoli? Hold on. All right, we are going to go back. You guys decided to click on back. We are going back. I think that's a good call that gets us back to... I'll, we should be back on eating, but it's not. Why are we no way? Where's eating? There's no eating. It just sends you back home. You fucked up. Oh my God. You guys fucked up. I didn't skip. Boys, I don't make the rules on YouTube. I didn't do shit. I don't do nothing. All right. You have seven clicks to find me broccoli. And you know what sucks about this too? YouTube thinks you guys like otters now. All right. Uh. Get ready to click. We're looking here at Fail Army, Otter Videos, Nile Red, uh, more Mr. Beast. God, they push Mr. Beast to everyone, don't they? At the top here, some that I will point out, because I want to be fair, beef, broccoli beef is a thing. I think, though, if you click beef, guys, you might be getting, uh, uh, you might go to, like, cattle. Keep that in mind. There's restaurants, cooking shows. Remember, it just has to be any footage of broccoli. All right. Everybody, get ready to click. Go ahead and click. Go for it. You can also click on any of these if you want. History, you can click on. There's there's no history except for the otter video we just watched. This is a new uh, zoom out. No, this is all you get. This is all you get. Okay, right now, it looks to me like you're clicking on cooking shows. That's what it looks like to me. If you're not, maybe move it more left. If you are, I'm going with it. You zoomed in and out before, but this is fair. You have so much to work with here. You have eight videos and like 15 fucking tabs. The beef and broccoli plate. Oh, how, hold on. How have a hundred percent of you agree? There are 28,000 clicks in my chat. How the fuck did all of you? Oh, there we go. It changed. Holy shit. All right. We're going with cooking shows. 73% say cooking shows. We're going to cooking shows. Let's go. Here we go. Ooh, wow we got a lot here wow we got a lot and you know what to be fair i'm gonna zoom out so you can see the third row okay there you go Ooh, we got a bunch of new videos all right we're on cooking shows now i'm gonna give you a moment to look this over amazing japanese ramen we got wagyu some kind of weird ravioli desserts probably don't want that you can scroll as your click you, got, you can scroll as your click, chat. If you want me to scroll, I can scroll and get you a new page, but it will be your click. So keep that in mind. You have six more clicks left before you need to find me broccoli. Um, what do I think the best bet is here? I would probably go with whatever ganja grandma. Oh, that's weed. No, no, no. We don't want that. Maybe the truffle? I, I don't know. You guys are kind of fucked here. Maybe the beef stew? All right. I'm gonna restart it, get ready. The option to scroll is still there. You can always go back to homepage of YouTube. Be careful what you click on. Here we go. Everybody, click. Where do we click to scroll? The bar on the right. The bar on the right. Follow your fellow man if you're confused. Ooh, this is tight. We got 33% beef stew. 35% is the scroll. 48% is now the scroll. The scroll's in the lead. 49%. Click channel. We get more videos of cooking. Yeah, you can also click channels. You can click channels. Um, but it looks like scroll is going to take this. So I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to scroll. I'm going to get you, uh, what is it? 15 new videos if I can. All right? You guys want me to scroll? Here we go. All right. 
You now have five clicks to get me to any footage of Broccoli. Did this pay off, chat? That was a risky move. That was a risky move here. We have an omelet, crispy cheese pizza, more pizza. I soak steaks and then dry aged them. Don't need anything here. The worst food. Krabby Patty Supreme, Iron Chef. Uh, any one of these can... Okay, binging with Babish. Where, where do you see that? Oh, right there. The, the Krabby Patty. There's also a Ramsey video under me. There's a Chef Ramsey video. Now, keep in mind, if you want me to click on the channel name, make sure you're clicking dead center of the channel name so I know you don't want the video. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Click. Clicky, clicky. Oh. Scroll down a bit more. No. No. We can't see the channel on the bottom. Well, you're not even... Look at how spread out you guys are. You're not even going for it. I think most people are going for the binging... The, the, the babish culinary universe. <laughs> Please find my family. 41%. <laughs> are going for... If you would have... If, guys, if you would have clicked down here, I would have given you his channel. I would have given you his channel. Okay, relax. 42%. I'm going to give it to... With, with 21,000 clicks... I'm going to give it to the Babish channel. You guys want to go to the Babish channel. Am I reading your clicks correct? Half of you want. That's we're going to do it. Okay, here we go. They're saying retards. Chat is turning on themselves. You have five clicks left. I will, as a solid, I'm going to pause this. And I'm going to scroll to get the maximum amount of videos on screen. Okay, here we go. Remember, five clicks left. This is where I will leave you guys. Let's take a look. Or four. Four clicks left. I'm, oh, no! You guys are throwing! Okay. Four clicks left. Now, you know what? Fair is if there is broccoli in this video, that would be a W. Um, let's look. That's from Goodfellas. That's from Goodfellas. Why is the quality so low? Hello? If there is broccoli in this video, you win. No broccoli. Tough break. That's fine. Four more clicks. We're gonna start here. Okay. Four clicks left. Let me scan this over. I, I, I'm I, I'm helping you guys out here. I'm not. I'm not seeing anything that that gives me broccoli vibes. Maybe the beer can chicken. No, I don't know. I don't know. Go to play all. You want? Okay. I'll leave. We play on, no, that's not how that works. All right, there's oh, people are saying there was broccoli in the Gordon Ramsay soup. All right, everybody, get your clicks in. You can still scroll, go back. You can, I mean, whatever you want to do. I need broccoli on my screen. You have three clicks left. Are you guys clicking on videos? That's smart. That's bold. That's smart and bold. I don't know if you're on a playlist. Oh, this might be a throw. I don't know. I don't remember what playlist looks like. It's in the soup. Go back. Hey, don't tell me. Tell your fellow man. I'm just a messenger. It's a throw. You know what it is? It's a learning experience. Hope you're not scoring. Well, it is, man. Thank you. Chat, just scroll, you idiots. There are people on YouTube right now screaming because broccoli is so close. You're in light mode? Yeah. Chat is so dumb. I think there's just too many of you. You're all retarded. All right. We're looking at 43% with 20,000 votes, 21,000 votes, clicks. 
to videos. All right, we're going to videos. Do this is what you wanted. Do not blame me. Here we go. Three clicks to find broccoli, and I will scroll to get. Uh, let's see here. I will throw you a bone, and I will scroll a little bit. Let's see what we got here. I will throw you a bone. Mm. I will throw you a bone. Where do we want to land here on screen? It, mm. The stir fry? Where do you see stir fry? Meatballs, fried rice? That's not it. <laughs> Which one has the weight loss one? Okay, I'm gonna leave it. Mm. Hmm. I feel like you guys fucked up with this. I feel like you're locked into the babish. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut out the top row as a favor. As a fucking favor, I'm cutting out the top row. Okay? But if you wanna scroll, you're gonna have to scroll further than that. That's all I'm giving you. That's all I'm giving you. That's all I'm giving you. All right, That's and I'm being generous with it too. I'm being generous. There's three right there. Three, or you have three clicks left, okay? Go ahead, tell me where you wanna go. Three left. Click, everybody click. <laughs> Mr. Mustache has it mapped out. Playlist, Soy Boys, episode three is broccoli. Mr. Mustache has a path for you guys that is guaranteed broccoli on the last click. Mr. Mustache has mapped out a path to broccoli and you guys still want weight loss journey soy boys let's see if you can come through i'm gonna give you guys a few more seconds here autism overload oh it's so funny come on you know it's so funny chat is is feral on this shit you know what i love to see you guys get mad at each other and not me for once it feels so good they're losing their minds how much shit? everyone your clicks matter here your clicks matter here you're cheating? I'm reading chat. I'm cheating by reading chat. Oh, you're saying Mr. Mustache cheated? You know what, bucko? Okay. I'm happy Mr. Mustache cheated because we'd be six minutes into this fat so losing weight. All right? He wants to get you the broccoli. He wants to get you to the, to the Arabic couch. Okay? I won't let him do it next time, but let him have this one. All right? All right. You guys That's are 90% for, um, for the playlist. And by the way, the most votes thus far. And I want to say to the 10%, the 11% who are holding strong on the soy boy, I respect you, but I hate you. I want you to know that. All right, we're going to the playlist. Here we go. Playlist. Now watch this backfire. Playlists can look, whoops. Playlists can look different on different YouTubes, I think. I don't know. I don't go on YouTube. Here we go. Um, okay, we're in the playlist. I'm going to do the courtesy. I'm going to scroll down. To fill it with play. There we go. Okay. We are on the playlist. Mr. Mustache believes you have two clicks left. He believes he has devised a way to get you there in two clicks. I'm going to start it. Go ahead and start clicking. Uh, it, ooh, he said it's in. I, I know. I'm not going to be involved. I'm not going to be involved. <sighs> I'm not going to be involved. You guys figure it out. Where do you want to click? Nobody's clicking. Wait, hold on. Why is nobody... Everyone's confused. Nobody wants to fuck it up. Nobody... Is it not started? Oh, wait. Did it not start? Oh, there we go. Go. Go, go. It's on. It should be on, right? There we go. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm retarded. Me. View... Okay. Keep in mind, guys. You're currently clicking on the video... If you want me to click on something specific, you need to get more tight with it. I will click where the where the number is. Don't fuck this. Do not throw this, chat. Oh, oh, it's moving. It's moving. Oh shit. Oh shit. Can they do it? Can the apes do it? Oh, chat, I believe in you. I really do. I want you to get this. You guys have to work together. For the next one, I will not be reading out what chat says. I'm not going to throw you bones like that. You got to be better. You got to keep your eye on chat and your eye on the stream. Okay, so we are at a lot of fucking votes. Uh, and I'm noticing you guys, the 100%. We want to go to the viewful playlist. Okay, clearly. Look, it even split. It split. All right, we're going to viewful playlist. You have one click after this chat. 
You have one click to get broccoli on my fucking screen, so help me God. <clears throat> View full playlist. Here we go. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Chad! You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! It can't be the thumbnail, by the way. So if you didn't have a click, I would not give this to you. All right, chat. I'm gonna let you do the honors. Where do we want to go? Now, wait. You guys could throw this. You guys could close the tab right now. You could do whatever you want. Oh, no. There's the... No, not the weight loss journey. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna let this one run for like a minute or two. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. Stop. Guys, for real, dude, I can't believe this. Please. Oh my god, it's like half and half, and they're closing the tab now! Oh, 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 oh. Yo, guys, come on! Don't y'all dare. After all the work Mr. Mustache put in. Alright, we're at... I think people trying to close the tab is actually weakening. You guys are splitting. You're weakening the, the weight loss journey movement. <laughs> Play hit shuffle, hit shuffle. Wait, if we hit shuffle, it will randomize, which means we could leave it all down to a one, two, three, four, five. One in six chance. Oh, it's roulette. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna let this run for 60 more seconds. Your options are click on the broccoli, win the game. Click on the weight loss journey, lose the game. Click on shuffle, leave it up to fate. Your choice, chat. I'm not playing the game. I'm watching you play it. I want to see what you got. I can't. I'm not going to comment. I'm going to let it go till, till my clock says uh, 7.48 is when it's over. I'm looking at my clock on my desktop. When my clock says 7.48, I'm done. I'm not going to commentate. I don't want you guys to think I'm, I'm pushing one way or another. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> How do I click? Just click on your screen. Click on what you want me to click on. 66% of 34, they want the game to end. <sighs> okay, let's pause this. Here we go. Here we go. How much time we got left? 25 seconds left. Do you want the gamble or the guarantee? It looks like the people have given up on the weight loss journey. Do we want the gamble or do we want the guarantee? Oh my God. Holy shit. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit close in 10 seconds. 10 or 10, 9, 8. Wherever it lands, I'm clicking seven. Oh my god! No! Six, five, four, three, two, one, that's it! Oh no! Oh god! Dude, I okay, here we go. So let me tell you guys where we're at. It it, it is still going, but I ended it. It closed with I think 52% on shuffle. Which here's how this is gonna work, chat. You had the guaranteed win. With one click, you could have clicked on broccoli and cheese casserole, giving us the broccoli, securing the win for chat. But now, because the majority of you decided to come together and click on shuffle, we are leaving this up to fate. There is a one in six chance that when I click on shuffle, comfort food, broccoli and cheese casserole will come up. We are hoping for episode three. Here we go, boys. And I will say, We'll still do Arabic couch after this because this was a good first round. You guys, exactly. You guys are agents of chaos. You ready? Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that looks like tofu scramble. Okay. All right. 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 Okay, but you know what we could play it through? There could still be broccoli in this. Okay, you know what? You know what? Hold on, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. If broccoli somehow makes its way into this... Don't get my hopes up. Broccoli at 2.12? Okay, I'm at 2.12? Eggs. Yeah, uh, tofu. Now moving on to the soft variety, let's give it the same treatment and see the... You're just fucking lying, dude. Sh oh, ingredients. Okay, soft tofu, neutral oil, shallot, garlic cloves, jalapeno, tomato, mushroom, turmeric. Oh. <sighs> so close, but so far. Now, uh, 
We're gonna give the option to the editors. You guys ready? All right, we need to fake a reaction. You guys ready? Now pretend. Let's see if let's see what Peter and Carlos do with this. Now pretend it landed on broccoli. You ready? Here we go. Maybe they'll edit this in to make me look cool. Maybe they'll edit this in to make you guys look cool. Or maybe they'll edit this in to make us all look stupid. We'll see. Here we go. Three, two, one. This episode is sponsored oh by Squarespace. I use Squarespace what to build both basics with Babish and Benjamin with Babish.com. On the sites, you'll find recipes, equipment links, other news, and updates, all beautifully designed. Let's go! Show me the broccoli! Where's the broccoli? Show me there's a... There it is! We are the... Ch Let's there go! There are just times, so... Yes, some moments it! where like, I'm sitting at home alone. You know, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. You know, this that I want to show you guys what we could have had. Did you feel that hype? Did you feel that excitement? You fucking idiots clicked on fucking shuffle, dude. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> that was okay. You know, okay. So we couldn't. Well, we could. We handled broccoli, but we gave it up in the end to a gamble. So let's. Okay, now I think I need to do this again. I need to go into an incognito window. What is it? Control Shift N. Yeah, I still got it. Yeah, I look at pornography. I'm kidding. Okay, so we're going to go to YouTube. Okay. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, on a fresh YouTube. Okay. Just clear the search. It's fine. Who cares? We're back. We're here. Would you guys like... Let me look at Booty's list. Let's see what Booty... Booty had a list for me. Are there any of these that you want? Pamini Wubby. Uh, some type of movie trailer. How to repair video. Wrapping an animal in a blanket. Uh, an MRE unboxing. Ooh. An old Republican man teaching you how to shoot a gun. Uh, uh, do we like any of those? We can also do Arabic couch. Here, you know what? I'll put up a poll. I will put up a poll. We're going to let... If democracy is running this night then we will let them choose as well, okay? I think trying to find me in a video would be funny, but I don't think, see the problem is YouTube doesn't really push me to people because I say potty words. Which one do you want to hunt for? Arabic couch, MRE opening, uh, what else? Republican, Republican man with gun. Or a BMW <laughs> X7. Okay, fine. Uh, or Wubby. All right. There are your options. You guys can vote by putting one through five in chat, whichever one you want. You only get one vote, so make it count. All these are pretty funny. These are pretty good. Your vote matters, chat. Every single one of your votes matter. Every single one matters, guys. Republican with a gun. Bold. Bold. So many people were begging for Arabic couch. It's in second. That's wild to me. You guys can't make up your mind. This is why typically chat doesn't isn't allowed to run the content. You get like once a month on these things. <laughs> Steve MRE, let's go. Bro, that's about it. That's about oh no. Remember I said I, I the coffee and then it's gonna come back in three hours <sighs> All right Republican man with a gun is the winner and you guys now have 10 clicks i will click on whatever you guys want me to click on you have 10 clicks to get to a <sighs> 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 you have 10 clicks to get me to a republican man we can assume <laughs> we, <laughs> we can assume they're Republican. I'm not going to make you have to prove it. A Republican man with a gun. I'm putting up a click map now. I will click on the most voted for spot. You can go back. You can go home. You can click on anything you want. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Republican man with a gun.
Is it up? There it is. All right, start out the gate. Where are we at? Oh shit. Oh, there's a dude with a gun on my skin. Now hold on. Now hold on. Is Charles Bronson Republican? No way. No way. Let me hide chat. Sorry. Dude, there is no way. Is that now hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, no! There's no way! Wait, let it, okay. Charles Bronson, Red Dead Redemption 2. What a political? Republican? How about I even search this? How do you know he's Republican? Wait, it's a real person. The Hollywood actor Charles Bronson. Wait, what? That's Red Dead 1. Oh, sorry. I've never heard him discuss politics. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody shut up. How do I figure out if this... Okay, we'll click on it. You guys want... 92% of you want Red Sun Western. Charles Bronson action film. Wait, this isn't Red Dead. Wait, what? This is a real human. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Why are people saying Red Dead Redemption? This is not... Hold on. Wait, I'm... I feel very confused and scared, and I, I feel like I need to. I feel like I need to. I feel like I need. To, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. This whole time, this whole time, I thought we were talking about Red Dead Redemption, but we're, we're talking about a real man. I thought this was Red Dead Redemption, bro. I, I thought this was a video game. I'm very tired. I'm sorry. I'm very tired. Oh my god. I You suck. That's a real man. That's a real man. My Google search makes no sense. Wait, is it? Wait, hold on. This is a f wait a minute. This is a full movie. You've clicked on a full movie. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. We're going to. Okay. Just closing the poll. You clicked Star. on Red Sun, a, a two hour film. Are you kidding me? I guess the real thing here is, is, is... Ch <laughs> I just can't get over that I thought this was a video game. Ooh, sorry, okay. So, uh, we need to fact check. Was Charles Bronson Republican? We, this is important. Charles Bronson, American actor. Okay, okay, I have his Wikipedia pulled up. Um, you said we didn't have to prove it. This is different. This is different. You said we didn't have to prove it. Okay, you know what? Okay, fine. Fuck it. You're done. You did it in one click. You happy? Okay, good. One click. I can't. Let's at least find like a still of him with a gun. Are there boobies in this? Am I gonna get banned? Oh Jesus. Why? Where is he holding a gun? He's got to hold a gun at some point, right? That's like his whole thing, right? <laughs> I'm so mad. This was so easy. This happened in one click. This is so ridiculous. This guy's a Republican too. All right, we are going to move on here to the next one. You fucking idiots, dude. <laughs> Everything about what just happened is 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 killing me. That was that was so that was just so dumb and autistic and me reading it as <laughs> as Red Dead Redemption. My Google says whatever Bronson RDR2 Republican. And I spell I'm not going to lie to you. I spelled it Republican with a K. I'll be honest. All right, yeah, you won. Good job, chat. Congrats. You did it. Congratulations. All right, next one. Fine. Fuck it. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, you did it. Okay. Um, what was the first runner up to it? What does anyone remember the poll? What was the first runner up? Does that, I think it was, was it Wubby or was it Arabic couch? I think it was Arabic couch. All right. So I'm going to make this a little easier because I'm worried. What is an Arabic couch? I don't know. Um, so I'm going to say a couch. And, and something that is identifiably Middle Eastern. <laughs> okay. So I, 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 you can't now, now you can't be, listen, it has to be, 
like a like a yeah like a hookah has to be almost stereotypical <laughs> Okay, okay, chat, we need to find a path. All right, you guys ready? Your goal to find an Arabic couch starts now. Fresh YouTube, here we go. You get 10 clicks to find an Arabic couch. Go, click, wait, is it up? It is up, is it up? Is it up? It is up, is it up? Why are you clicking on pranks destroy scam callers? Why are you going to scam callers? All right, let's look up here. You guys are clicking on the banner. We got history news, the microphone. <laughs> All right. Uh, bankrupt JC Penny. Prank destroys scam callers. I see some people clicking on gaming and ooh, learning. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want the What do you want with the microphone? <laughs> Let us speak. <laughs> You are wasting a click, maybe even two clicks on the micro. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let us land, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm really curious where this is going to go. Let us cook, they're saying. <laughs> He's trying to silence us. What do you mean? What happens when I click this microphone, though? Search with your voice? Well, hold on. What does it pop up when I click that? Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay. I I have allowed... I have... I have, en I have enabled the, uh, the microphone. <clears throat> okay? Get on Discord? What are you talking about? All right, you guys have chosen to click the microphone. You now have nine clicks to find the Arabic couch. I will click on the microphone now. You, you, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Everyone in chat, okay, fine. <laughs> Every single one of you is just saying, say it, say Arabic couch, say it. Clicked on that mic and so many people are going, say it, say it. Well, you think, what, what is the purpose of that? What, do you, what, where is the game and ha ha, we clicked it and now we're there. <laughs> you guys are killing me. All right, you dug this hole. You're going to dig yourself out of it, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. I'm restarting it uh, and it is now on. You now have Conor McGregor. You have Rick getting revenge on a show nobody's watching. More Conor McGregor. It's the best shotgun in the game, said by every single one of you. You have uh, nine... <laughs> You're clicking on the microphone again. I'll say Arabic couch for some subs, okay? How about that, buddy? You want me to just fucking give you the win? Listen, you mean to click I can't, I can't take it. Bro, this... <laughs> This game worked when Doug Doug played it, but I'm realizing I have a chat of like low functioning autistic people. Turn on TTS. What do you mean? What do you mean just turn on? Okay, there's this. Okay. Holy shit. Holy shit. You okay? The so Oh my god. Okay, well, hold on. Hold on. You guys wanted the. Hold on. Okay, well, a deal's a deal. Hold on one second here, folks. Arabic couch. Ladies and gentlemen, a deal to deal. Unpacking an Arabic style seating sofa. Let's go! <laughs> dude, dude, it's, it's quiet. There's no sound in this video. Here, I'll put chat up. I think that was, hey, pleasure doing business with you boys. Fair's fair. A deal's a deal. Pay to win. Listen, you want to game the system? Why can't I get a little off the top? You know what I'm saying? We didn't click. Yes, you did. You clicked on the microphone. Oh, well, there. You, you didn't click on... Okay, wait. F oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something very important has been brought to my attention. You have seven clicks left. And you are on this screen. You did not win yet. Chat can still do what chat does here. You have seven clicks left. I'm so sorry I jumped the gun on that. That is so irresponsible of me, irresponsible of me as the streamer 
okay? And as your guide. Chat, your victory is right here in front of you. Thank you to all the subs that came. I'm not scamming. In fact, this is how I'm supposed to play. All right? It's in the... T no, no, it has to be playing in a video chat. It's not the thumbnail, okay? All right. Uh, go ahead and click on what you want. End this now. End the suffering now, chat, please. Oh, no. <laughs> please, God damn it. All right, guys. Cl closing the tab is not... Closing the tab is not an option. <laughs> hey, we. Oh, I have another tab in the back. Let me close that one. This was from earlier. Yay. <clears throat> All right. We have 53% of you trying to close out of the stream. Um, 33. <laughs> why are you wanting to still go to the <laughs> microphone? Go for his OPS? What's wrong with you? You guys are so retarded. Open the notes. My notepad is uh, what I talked about on stream today. You guys know this. Do you not watch stream? <laughs> I want it all. I want it all. Okay, I'm going to give you guys um, till 8.07 my time, which is in 30 seconds. At the end of it, I'm going to stop it. And whatever I stop it on that moment is where we're on. Mo oh my god, okay. Some of you going for Chrome. 31% uh, of you, the, 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 wait, is the lead? I don't know who's leading right now. I don't know who's leading. Uh, this is it. Uh, 14 seconds left. Discord DM leak is winning. <laughs> True and fair and valid. That's all fair and valid. We won Discord. Go to the Discord. <laughs> Come on! Let's get to his emails. All right, that is time. And the winner is by 49%. 49%? You guys did it. Here we go! Yay! <laughs> why are you guys assholes? You're ruining the game. This is why we just watch movies on stream now. Because I'm trying to run a show here. And you guys are like, go to his Discord. Go open his notepad. What is he hiding? <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you guys man we can you i'm having fun come on man all right i'm gonna do one more and then i'm getting off uh look at how god that if i had to guess what language that couch speaks it's probably Arabic. it's so low and tiny why is nothing sticky what no what that's awful what what's wrong with this couch that's so low this is what? This is horrible. All right. <clears throat> Last one. I am vetoing your ability to click anywhere outside of the tab. Okay. You can close the tab. I will give you that. But you cannot um, click on Discord or Notepad or anything. Uh, because that completely defeats the purpose of the game we are playing. Okay. So last one. <laughs> what is he hiding? Last one here. Your goal, hopefully you can get something funny here. Hopefully you can get to it. And I'm just going to say it. Your goal is to find me, me in any video. Pay money wubby in any video. Now, keep in mind, I, I believe Critical mentioned me in a video recently and he showed a, a thumbnail of mine that I'm in. That would count. That would count. Your best bet is to not find me on my own channel. So there you go. Uh, all right, here we go. 10 clicks starting now. Let me take chat off screen. Figure it out. Figure it out, boys. <clears throat> is it on? Hello? Is it on? There we go. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you know, Booty, when, when you pitched this today, did you think it would go this well? I mean, they're just... They're, oh, <laughs> they're clicking on me. They're clicking on me. They're clicking on me. <laughs> <laughs> right there right there all right i am <laughs> the, you, you realize i can't be clicked on what am i what do i get clicked on <laughs> i found him hey i found him <laughs> Wait, what, we're getting we're getting out of the couch suggestion <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so food bar, dude. Hold on, I'm gonna refresh. We're we're starting from the top. <laughs> Chat, this is. I don't think you guys are having fun, but you guys are making me laugh harder than like ever on this stream. All right, I'm gonna refresh. Clean. Why are we stuck on Arabic couch? What's happening? Whatever. Starting now. You cannot click on me because there's nothing to click. Please, everyone, you have to find Wubby. <laughs> no, 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 hold on, no, 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 idiots. No, there you go. You have to find Wubby. I will no longer be speaking. <laughs> no way! You're clicking on the autism test. There is no shot. This is so me. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm delu- I'm so tired that everything is, this is so funny. <laughs> I can't believe didn't ask. <laughs> this is scripted, bro. This is this this is so scripted. How is there an autism test on screen? <laughs> woo! Woo! Okay, 80% of you want the 10 second autism test. So we're gonna click on that. After I click on that, you guys have nine more clicks to try to find a Wubby. Hey, I'm Dave. Welcome to my shop. <sighs> I'm Dave Plummer, a retired software engineer with a All reasonably right. popular YouTube. So I know for a fact I am not in this video. So I'm going to put up another stars. poll for you guys. You can click on Dave. You can click on any of these. Computer programming <sighs> topics like the same that's me. Microsoft Bob and stupid C++ tricks and computer language drag racing. Six million or so views later, I got Let a bit of a cook. secret to share. <laughs> I've got autism, uh. and not just a little. I mean, at one time, they might have called my case Asperger's, but given his Nazi activities, no one's going to be advocating for being called that these days, so it's all one big happy family. I think this guy's autistic. Oh, 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 sorry. Fuck. Hey, I'm Dave. Okay, so. Happy family. Okay, so I'm giving you a chance. Thank you, uh, Pork is Wayne, for the five. He fucked us. I didn't even click on that. I didn't even click on that. No, I didn't even click on that. Under the larger right. umbrella. Uh, get your votes in. Here we go. You fucked up. Do you want me to start over? <laughs> Do you want me to start over? You ruined it, Wubby. Okay, fuck it. Just fuck. Nobody gives a shit. You idiots are just clicking on random shit. Go ahead. Get us out of here. The only thing I can see in here that would maybe lead back to me is Nile Red. Maybe. Stop fucking idiots. All of you are idiots. All of you are idiots. People are clicking on subscribe. They want me to go to the Amazon link. I'm not clicking on the Amazon link. Okay. Pure stink. Scroll to the comments. Nope. Uh, I will after the votes. <laughs> Stop trying to follow me, idiots. Um, <laughs> you sit in the tab. I'm not going to go to Amazon. I mean, I could. It's just a waste of a click. You have nine... <laughs> Trying to get me to sign it. It's so absurd. It's just we would make it through like like part of the email. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so stupid. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wow. Okay. Fifty-one percent of you want me to go to sign in. Hold on. I guess I'll just click it. All right. We're in the sign in now. This is what we wanted. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me stop it here. We are. <laughs> Type your email. No, this is a click. This is <laughs> Why did you guys ruin this game? I thought this game was so funny. I thought this game was going to be. Uh, <laughs> I thought this game was gonna be so fun, and you guys just took it and you shit on it, and you ruined, you ruined it. All right, everybody, uh, go ahead and get your clicks in. Not a whole lot of options. Here. <laughs> Please stop. Please don't go to create an account. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, there's no autofill. This is a the new browser. 
There's nothing. Stop clicking on me! You've done nothing but laugh. It's so stupid. <laughs> You're trying to, people are trying to change the language. Star. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm just going to end straight. This is so stupid. <laughs> you should count. This will be in a video. Yeah, I guess, like, in a meta future, this will be. <laughs> This will be in the in. There's no autofill. Uh, just click on next. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can't tell. That's too many things you're clicking on. You're gonna have to really uh, narrow it down here. I think some people are clicking forgot email. Some people are clicking on learn more, and some people are clicking on create an account. Five percent of you still trying to close the tab. Five. Oh, they're making a penis. They're making. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <It's even good. laughs> okay, you guys are done. We're done with this. This, is, this game went nowhere. Well, all right. Well, I'm done. <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs> it's getting bigger. <laughs> all right. Um, I, I'll see you guys on Friday. I think. I think we're good here. I think this is it. <laughs> okay. Whatever. There's nothing more to do here. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> Congratulations, chat. Let me land. You... Let me land, please. <laughs> it's just growing. It's just growing. Well, I'll see everybody on Friday. Hope you had a good time. Thank you, everybody. Uh, uh, Nuzlocke. On... Wow, it is smushing into the top. Can we do this again? No. We're never gonna do this again because this is stupid and this was a waste of time and nobody can handle it now you're getting abstract with it <laughs> it was okay it was pretty funny i'm not gonna lie thank you old cheese dick for the 10 you suck. whoa old old armstrong there huh okay